Please, someone save me. <laughs> any no, woman, no, let any woman, me blow up like a bomb. If you are, if you are oh. over the age of 20, 23? 20, 20, 21, 22. Nah, twenty two for 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 good measures. Twenty two. You got melanin in you. You like you like uh, British accents. Uh, <laughs> you can cook. <laughs> you can cook. <laughs> Save go this ahead, man. Go ahead. Line me up, man. Keep keep going, man. What else, what else? What else they need, man? You, you intellectual. You gotta. You gotta. You you can have a degree. You're getting a degree. Uh, if you, a plus, if you're good with the the superheroes, you you knowledgeable in the superheroes. Ooh, that's, that's plus ten attribute right there, man. And like uh, that. give me two more. Give me two more. Uh, two more, there, man. The the freakies. <laughs> 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 you gotta give me the freakies. That's how I Carly starts. What? And then he starts singing. Yeah. You want to? You want to sing? Yeah. I know. I'm not, the I'm not the world change Fuck for me. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> Go ahead, sing. You always talk about singing, bro. Go I'm sing. I'm a singer, bro. I probably I think I'm the best singer in fleet bands. If you ask me. Nah. I better than Chris? Hell yeah. Why? Easily. Easily. Easily better than Chris. But like, you know, it's like y'all different singers though. Chris better than Jason? Yeah. No, me me and Jason are different singers. Okay. Me and Chris both have deep voices. Well, I, I have a deeper voice though. Chris can make his voice high though, but it's not tough. No, I can't do that, John. <laughs> I, can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't even scream. I can't picture you screaming. Because I don't scream. <laughs> like I like I can I can raise my voice, but look I'm gonna try screen. <laughs> Wait, so you telling me if like 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 when you when you're scared, will you be like oh shit? Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, all right. What if you? What if like that's a, a scream? Like, right. Genuinely. What's what's a scenario where you screaming? Pause. Nigga, I'm gonna say, oh shit. Be like oh <laughs> just yeah. oh you that nigga. What the fuck? What about if you're on a oh damn if you're on a roller coaster you just gonna say oh shit like I can be like ah like that's, <laughs> that's it that's so I generic can't scream, bro. yeah I can't scream uh, like, I just I just tried to scream three times you never yelled before I did when I was young like I used to ever scream mad loud as a kid was that you that yelled in the 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 freestyle because I asked Chris I was like who yelled in the background uh was that which you one, which freestyle you just the the one with chop in it yeah that was you yeah that's how i was like who is that yeah that's what i'm saying me me like it sounds weird like we raised my voice <laughs> were you standing weird. up doing that yeah <laughs> yeah i could tell you were standing up i'm like nah this thing i could just see this nigga with you had your eyes closed yeah <laughs> no nah, I, I just it is not funny bro because plus because all right so i'm mad cool right? okay so if i'm yelling Mm-hmm. Screaming, I'm not cool no more, bro. I, my cool attribute goes down by twenty. Ah, that makes you not cool because you scream. Imagine scream like. Oh wait, you can move that up. Oh my fault. Imagine like sp- screaming like, ah, like crazy. Like, <laughs> like you gotta understand. Like you ever seen a cool guy with a high pitched voice? Um, when they look at what's cool, like if we if we check off what's cool, right? Yeah. You got you gonna start naming shit. It's gonna sound like you did. All right, what's cool? Um, Watch. What's cool? I'm trying to I'm trying to think of you stuff. Gonna start naming shit. It's gonna sound, <laughs> sound like me. That's <laughs> someone that's good good at sports. Come on now. Someone. What's what's also cool? We already got one. Um. Someone that is like goes with the flow of shit. Like they don't need shit playing for them. Sounds like two. <laughs> someone that is someone that could do a backflip with a with a skateboard. You can't do no backflip with no, a goddamn I can't do skateboard. No, no skateboard. <laughs> I could do, do a backflip though. We need to get that on film. Never seen me flip before? I have, but that was like years ago. Nigga, we went to what's the name last year? You didn't do a flip? Oh, you did do a flip. Three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you can't but, swim. Swimming is not cool, bro. What do you mean swimming is not cool? You, you ever see somebody cool on a swim team? Come on, bro. That nigga Kai was type cool. Who? Uh, Tyrone's Kai, man. Kai is cool. Kai is cool. But. Michael Phelps. How yeah. many of Kai's are on that team? One. Exactly. Like Kai type of person is on that team. <laughs> All right. What about to just. 
What about surfers? Surfers are cool. Surfers is cool as shit. And, and they, I can surf. You can't surf. That's I can use a wave board. What do you mean a wave board? Exactly. You don't even know. You're, you're talking about cool the body enough. boards? You're not cool enough, so I'm, you don't know what a wave board is. You cannot surf. Every time in my neighborhood when the when a dude would see me, that like an actual surfer dude, he would see me on the uh when I lived in Union, the surfer dude he would see me on a wave board. He was like, Yo, you do that so well, if you would get on a surfboard, you would be fine. But you haven't done it though. But I can do it. It's the thing. You can't even swim. I don't. That's why I don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> so if we go to like a a water park that has a little wave, I will kill that shit. You would, bro. That shit's harder Promise to look, you. bro. Promise you. We gotta go to like Hurricane Harbor or some shit because that shit harder to look, bro. I'm ready. Like you can stand up. Bro, you know I'm born ready, bro. I'm not afraid at all. Uh, all right, all right. Because I could. I tried that motherfucker. Nah, either I, way, the things that you are naming document me as cool. The coolest, ice cold, baby. This gotta be something. Like he got it. You got well, like, thing. speak multiple languages. You what do you speak? I don't speak multiple languages. Like what? So I don't go and have full conversation in Creole with with Fritzler. <laughs> 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 you do, you do. Damn, he actually does. That's great. Yeah, I'm an inspiration to the youth. This is and this is what they don't like. You know what I'm saying? Me being an inspiration to the youth, they gonna start. Even though everything falls in line with being cool, you know what I'm saying? They're going to start calling me cocky. They're going to start saying, oh, I'm this, I'm arrogant, you know? Certain situations I may be arrogant, but 99.9% of the time, I'm just thankful and grateful, you know? And cool? And cool. You think you could speak out in front of kids? Like, them little... I've done it before. What? Nigga, I can't wait to the day. You got to understand, bro. <laughs> I always want to be an inspiration to the youth, bro. I want there to be people like me. You want them? To, yeah. Hell so, yeah. like, if a uh, Franklin Elementary called you to, I would do it you would easily. Do it? I'll no, do it too. no butterflies in my stomach. There, I'm excited. I'm just afraid I'm a cuss. Oh I'm a, yeah, I'm yeah, a cursor. yeah, yeah, yeah. But what'd you but, talk about? Like, just talk about whatever it is. It'd probably be my uh, where I was to where I am now. Because if I'm going to talk to a school, I got to be in some form of some position of higher success. Yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah. Because I, cause I remember, because um. When God like, willing, it's gonna be you. Yeah, that they gonna you know call about. Oh, he went to the school. There's Darius Watkins. Uh, you know, no regulars podcast. He's a That'd YouTuber. Be cool. You know, that's what I'm saying. That'd so be cool. Because I was I, when I was talking to my 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 old uh, English teacher at Tyrone Party, mm. I was thinking about that. Like, yo, what if like I, I came back to like Kwame, like spoke to like the kids about stuff. If the kids would know. Cause that's what I'm saying. We got it. It got to be the kind of notoriety where they yeah, know where they who know you us are. and they be because it can't be like. You walking in the classroom and it's just a, a regular dude. Like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I remember Darnell Stapleton came to uh he was a, a football player on the Steelers when they won the championship. Yeah. Damn, that was in like third grade, fourth grade. Anyway, he came in. And I didn't watch football, <laughs> but I know that he was in the NFL and on the Steelers. So did that was to, good enough. Did he go to Franklin or something? Yeah. Oh, he did. Mm -hmm. Darnell. Stapleton. I don't even remember what he said or if he said anything or he just was walking around. We were just excited that an NFL player was in the building, mm. honestly. Oh, okay. So, I get what you mean. So, it's just, it's the status. So, you got to be at a certain point, have a certain title. Yeah. Then it's going to be like, okay. I think we're doing good, though. We're doing pretty good, though. Yeah, I think we're on the... We're on the incline up. You know what I'm saying? Day by day, just going. Would you Would you like me to... Go ahead, brother. One second, one second, one second. Yeah, it's Obama on the line. <laughs> Twenty shit. It was going up... <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's another episode of No Regulars Podcast. You know who it is. The one, the only, the tallest, the blackest, the strongest, the mightiest man. The one and only YD3, a.k.a. the chosen one. You know what I'm saying? Call me whatever you want to call me. Just call me the greatest if you're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And on my... That was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you, thank you. And on my left, you have the one and only, the oracle. The one who gets it started. The one who gets it done. done bro. The one who makes it business, but it's also fun. You know what I'm saying? The one that's the Uda, but he don't got a gun. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm, you know what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> saying? 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 Ifatunde, a.k.a. Darius Watkins in the building. Welcome you know what back. Saying? You know what episode this is? Episode number uh, 92. Ah, close. 91. Damn. So close. <laughs> <laughs> Almost to episode 100, people. So if yes, y'all ready sir, for that, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, we got sir. a big episode coming for episode 100. So stay tuned for all of that. 
I might do seasons. I might do after 100, be like season I, two, episode I, 10. I never knew it was going to get like this. I told you. Why don't you listen to me? <laughs> I, I say, yo, you're going to have to do seasons. And then with seasons, you got preparations to come back stronger, do promos. Either you could pre record. There's mad things that you could do if you do seasons. Yeah, I might take a break. You know what I'm saying? I don't know like if you I could. We, if we take a break, we won't take a super break from like y'all. We love y'all. Yeah, be like but I've been saying, yo, seasons. But, you know, Darius is very hard-headed. I really so. am. I really am. It's but so here's, bad. This is what happens 99.9% of the time. I have a, a master plan, great plan. Say, so, yo, Darius, you do this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> all right. Well, Darius. Right. I'm like, all right, just do this. But I know Darius now, so I'm going to give him the plan. And then weeks later or months later, he's going to say it again like he came up with it. <laughs> no, I don't. I give you like, credit. Nah. But I just bring it back up. Nah, because you didn't give me credit just now. What, about the thing? About the season. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> exactly. That's my point. I said that from, like, episode, like, I don't even know. Because I never, I never thought it would be, we'd be getting to, like, 100, but it's a lot. This yeah, is a lot. a lot. And it's very, very consistent. Mm-hmm. Very consistent. But this is what it... What it take, bro? Yeah, I remember seeing like Kasana. He had, I I watched him from the jump. Like I was one of his first subscribers before he even dropped a like a video. Yeah, like I subscribed to him because I was already watching him on the gram. Yeah, but he did like his like during his birthday, the month of December. Yeah, the nigga recorded, posted every single day. Yeah, like so the subathon to his original members are like. What he called Kai Mafia, the yeah. subathon, like, like that's nothing. He been doing that, yeah, yeah. Like literally going out, and it's a, it's not the same video every day, yeah. Like it's an actual, like you know, he's doing something, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's a lot. A Thirty lot, days of bro. straight, that's a lot. You of gotta content. first, you gotta go do what you gotta do, then you gotta edit it. You gotta brainstorm you gotta, it first. Who thinks of shit like that? You gotta think of something every day. Yeah, he nah, it definitely takes that me a year boy, to plan genius, that. Genius, bro. Nah, I give him that. That was a genius, and the niggas are like. At first, things was not jacking him. Oh, he corny, he this, that, he do mm-hmm. And now everybody on it because he's showing y'all like, yo. Nobody do what bro. I do, bro. Yeah, nobody do what I do. It's the East but Coast you know, people. And this is what I was thinking. Dang, I got to start writing stuff down for the podcast. Like I said, like he said, bro, cool. I just walk in. Niggas are weird. But, uh, <laughs> so fucking, <laughs> I was thinking about it. Like, YouTube and social media is becoming very repetitive. Yeah. Like, we really sitting here, and that's why I like our content. Mm hmm. It's because it's not the same thing that we're watching. It's not the same questions. It's not the people really will go there, do public interviews, and ask the same question yeah. Yeah. for 13 clips. Yeah. Or for a whole YouTube video. Yeah. You telling me, so would you, what would you rather? How many inches? <laughs> How, what's your body count? That shit is corny. Yeah. Like, oh my Lord. Like, the, they could clip this shit. So like the like you'll see somebody go on YouTube, not YouTube, go in New York and be like, yo, uh go downtown or what do they call it, Times Square? Yeah. And be like, uh, what's New York slang? And then you'll have like ten people do that exact same video. That's why it's, it's really weird because I like and I feel like they they go there every day. Every single day. And it's like they don't even I think they use New York as like the the uh ambiance of it how it, it is it looks cool. like it looks cool and it's a lot of people, people. and a lot of wacky people a yeah. lot of people that that's gonna say anything do anything you never know what to expect when you're in new york like yeah. you never so but yeah. it's just really like repetitive. yo really repetitive like every time i see one of them i just i just skip because you know why though it's because it, i feel like it's because like tiktok itself because tiktok makes it to, tiktok it makes it to where if you post the same type of content, you will get into the algorithm because it's the same thing. Oh. That's how people get. That's how you trick the. That's how you trick the system. So say like you you have a video like that, right? And mm-hmm. it gets like a million views. If you post that same video, since it went to those people, that same video you just had is gonna go to those people too. Again, it's just gonna keep going yeah. back and forth. That's how people be cycling in. That's why all these TikTokers like that be having a million followers like mad quick. It's because they do all they do is dance videos. They be like, dancing. Oh, the so same the same shit. people that like your videos coming back to them yeah, again. Yeah, same people. If you get like a hundred thousand likes, if it's the same exact video, they are gonna bring it right back to the, that person, and they're just gonna keep going. And they might go to more people. They might send it to more people. They're just gonna keep going, 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 going like that. Bro, I didn't. I do not like that shit. Bro. Yeah, because it makes it. Be, but it's like because you gotta remember, it's like a TikTok is honestly like the first time we have we had something like this mm-hmm. because usually we only look at stuff that we follow. Mm-hmm. 
So like if you follow this person, you only look at their stuff. Like you don't look at some other random person that you don't follow. Yeah. TikTok was the first one to come out with like, yo, whatever you like, we're gonna show you what you like. Like, yeah. It's like not like algorithm for real. Yeah, it's yeah. an actual algorithm. So like that's why I realized I didn't realize that till like maybe about like episode two, like thirty. Mm-hmm. Like that's how it really is. Like you like, could I remember, right? Yeah. Not to cut you off, but I remember there was a a time period on YouTube where it's like everybody was just trying to find something new, something different to stick out. Yeah. Like that's how you were building your fan base. Mm-hmm. But now everybody's literally just copying the same shit. Mm-hmm. How many people are copying the uh rate one through ten? Smash your pass. Oh, no, no, no. That one, they got to kill that. That's dead. That's that just shit. so bad. It's been three years yeah. you've been doing that's the been, same video. That's been since quarantine. Since quarantine, bro. Yeah. And that, like, that, like I don't know why they still spamming it. It'd be the Florida people. It'd be the Florida people at Atlanta and New York. Oh, really? Like, yeah. I, I, and it'd be New York and Jersey people be going over there, too. Like, that's to cringe. Too. Like, I ain't going to lie. That's type cringe now. a lot now. of Jersey people to do it, too. So. That's type but, cringe like, now, bro. It's... I don't know, but I guess the, I guess the idea of... 10 women, 10 guys is good. Yeah. But we got to come up with now new ideas to yeah, different make a now. versus of the 10 women and 10 guys. Yeah, like, Cuz look, you're capable of getting these 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 groups together. Make a a, a competition, make a Olympic games, something like That's what I would do. I'll be like, Don't steal my shit. I'll make like something a <laughs> I'll make like a like a game show. Yeah, like a game show. How how uh, are you smarter than Yo, we talking too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Than <laughs> we get in between like, like <laughs> we get niggas ideas cuz that's just easy. You, you like, talking to, like tell a nigga to pick a girl, mm. like like do some do some competition, you get to pick a girl, now you get to be with her, now you got to win a prize. Like win boom, a date I, or some shit. Look, this is how creative my mind is, my man. So look, boom, you could take you could you could pick a girl through the looks, yeah. right? And then do an academic activity. Yeah. She'd be like, she look good, but is she smart? Boom. Mm-hmm. A new video that no one's ever done. Don't steal my shit without giving me my fucking money. They gonna steal it. Yes, yeah, sir. They gonna steal it. <laughs> they gonna steal it. Because, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I feel like where we at now, all right, if you could, because like, I know even like even podcasts now are starting to get big. Big, yeah. And you but know, it, now everybody's starting to podcast, so hurry up and blow us up. So we could be up here while everybody trying to think rock. <laughs> but I think we, I mean, where we're at right now, I feel like we're a, we're in the the eight. We're, we're not S tier is like, like the the niggas. S tier is basically like niggas make clips from their podcast without them even knowing about it. Mm-hmm. That's S tier. We're not S tier. We're we're like we're like A. We're like A B. I'll, I'll, I think maybe B. I think we're in B C. Because C plus B. I, because I look at it as like region wise, like mm-hmm. compare it to like the people that the the podcast that we have in like where we're at. Like the only ones I know of for real is like that one. There's one. There's one podcast that's from New Jersey. I mean, as far as TikTok podcast, Tik. I mean, yeah, Tik. That's a, TikTok and like you know all around and shit like that. That's mm-hmm. what. That's what I feel like people. Like a lot of people be DMing me now, especially like asking me how to like do certain things for the podcast. Like they be they like a lot of like fans they they ask me a lot like yo how do you do this on the, for the pod like how do you sync the the shit together? And I just I give them advice, but I remember somebody was telling me like there's a there's a pod, there's a podcast there's like a sports podcast you probably seen them before with the the light skinned dudes with like a curly hair they from New Jersey. They, they, it was the one he did he he had a take about Kevin Durant not being like a Hall of Famer or some shit. Yeah, like. I did see that. Are yeah. they from the they from Jersey? Yeah, they from I think they're from like 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 Bergen County. Oh, that's fire. But we have like we have more followers than them, but I think they have like more like subscribers on YouTube. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like I like I feel like I've gotten to a point where we've gotten to a point where it's like we don't I don't really care too much about TikTok going up. I want, want everything. everything to go up. Yeah. I bet that's what I'm saying. I've been telling you that. Where it's like and we're also learning that there's different crowds yeah. on each platform. Mm-hmm. And different things that everybody likes on each platform, like the shit where you, Chris and Jason did that that uh, interaction shit, gold. Yeah, like gold. Like niggas fucked with it heavy. Like it was funny. Like it was like okay, it's showing more. Even though personality is already it be shown on the podcast yeah, all yeah. the time. You have people like me, Jason, Fritz. Uh, Fritz. Like you see personalities all the time. So, yeah. but now it's like now it's getting for real. And it's seeing you as a personality. It's usually you like. Ask a question. Like a, yeah, like a. So, like you like, like the game host. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you like the game mean, host. Like, like Steve Harvey. Like Steve Harvey. <laughs> like you the Steve Harvey and then we're getting the show from 
the contestants. Mm-hmm. But that was you showing like, yo, I actually be, you know, you got clear on it. You got to see me, but I'm over here, you know what I'm saying? Make yeah, it yeah. Like, so I think that's why that's why I like it now, especially on Instagram, that Instagram's starting to go up a little better. Mm-hmm. And it's like we have two different like fan bases now yeah. to work with. Yeah, anybody that's here watching you guys are really getting to see the the come up. Like you could really say, yo, I was here from the start. Like, yeah. like you know how when 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 the world start catching on the wave, you could be like, yo, because niggas love doing that. Niggas love to argue that. Yeah. I've been watching them since they was I remember when it was in the room. I remember when it was in there from watching them. You know, <laughs> and then we over here now we recording in some big ass you like know facility. What I'm saying? facility. Yeah. We got a whole because you always said you wanted a uh, like Rob Deerdick thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have a whole Rob Deerdick thing going on. Yeah, it's gonna God be, willing, you know what I'm saying? So it'll be soon, bro. Got big things coming. Clothing's still coming soon. I think I might switch it up though. Cause I think I might I might hold them hoodies till like the winter time when it gets cold. Because well, nobody not really gonna buy a hoodie hold anymore. them, but still promote Post them. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So or just have niggas in them. I, pr- I promise you, niggas gonna say we all all the fleas. Say we all like. We all wearing it. We're all uh, showing the fashion. Yeah. Everybody, like, yo, what's what's that hoodie like? Where y'all get that from? That always happens. Yeah. And we're gonna gatekeep until <laughs> it's time. We're gonna gatekeep until it's shit. time. But I'm I'm gonna I, I think I'm gonna make some graphic tees. I'm gonna hit up my um, graphic designer to help me with some shit. I might make some. I got some good ideas. Mm-hmm. I might make a flea bands tee, bro. I was thinking about it too. I I don't think we should do tee. I think we should do jerseys. Ooh, like a like a sports jersey. Like sports jersey, like basketball jersey. Mm. Or like a football jersey or some shit like that. Something like a, just a sports jersey that like we should have a basketball, I think about it. I think basketball it. jersey or a football jersey. Something that's a jersey for sure. That'd be tough. That'd be tough. But we'll we see. don't we don't got a logo as a unit. We don't got a logo. Uh, we'll find something cool. Yeah, we we'll find something cool. We gotta we'll, be some we'll, some cool like a fly, like, not a fly, but some fl- something fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll figure out some shit. We'll figure out some shit. You know I got saying? some ideas. We'll figure out some shit. But but yeah, though, I feel like nowadays everything's so like especially in the podcast where I feel like everybody thinks it's a lot easier to make a podcast because you just yeah, it is, yeah because all you people what they think what people think podcast is you just turn the cameras on and you put some microphones and you just speak and say something uh, um fucking controversial controversial yeah like say something controversial and and turn the camera on like with a light bro literally all they do is talk about all all the podcasts do is talk about women. <laughs> talk, talk about women <laughs> relationships or like I, in sports, in sports women yeah. relationships in sports but like with us we just talk about whatever anything so and that's why I feel like also we gotta start promoting the podcast in different genres because it is it's not just a comedy podcast it's not just a Nigga, we talking about science fiction. Yeah. Nigga, we talking about anime. Nigga, we talking about sports. Yeah. Nigga, we talking about everything. We gonna create a new genre? We gonna create a new avenue. Yeah. A new avenue. Like, <laughs> That's like, tough. Like, like, come on now. Nobody's doing that. That's tough. Everybody, when you turn on there, we watching a, a hour, 30-minute argument about who better, LeBron or Kobe? Nigga, yeah. we've been talking about this shit for 40 years. <laughs> Shut up. We get it already. Like, we we've been talking about the same argument. Like, it's yeah. a, a never-ending argument. We going back and forth. Let's talk about something different. Yeah, we love LeBron. We love Kobe. We, You know, the, 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 the debate is cool to have. It's a, like, But it's not original anymore. We've been doing this. Yeah. It gets, it gets old, bro. But that's, that's the one thing, too, now. Everything gets old quickly. Yeah, everything's get old very quickly because, now. like you said, everybody uses it. Mm-hmm. So like yeah. you hear it so much, and it's just like you get tired of it. Mm-hmm. So the, the the life cycle shit goes by. But I feel like I also I feel like being original is your quickest way to blow up. That's what I'm like, saying. You know how many niggas try a podcast and they try this and and it don't work because you look like the next man, like you yeah. not doing the same shit. That's why. I, that's why I'm glad we started this podcast. We started this podcast at the right time. Right time. Yeah. We. Not like right on time because we, we could have almost been too late. Yeah, we could. We was almost too we, late, but then, we was like, we was like, like when we we're like ahead of the race though. Yeah, like we was like we now had a good lead. Now. Really seeing it now, you really like you really yeah. you could really tell now because like I be looking at like TikTok podcasts. Like there's not really a lot that's like at least as big as us. I see maybe a couple. The, those football players, I enjoyed it. I don't know, I forgot their name though. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's like a uh, real Aki nigga yeah. with some dreads. Yeah, the light skin country. Dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. Funny as hell. Yeah, funny as hell. Like I, but, but it's they also, also be all over the place too. With yeah. What they're saying, and that's what I like. Yeah, but it's it's also easy. It's easier for 
famous people to get podcasts. Podcast for because sure. Because they're famous. They just want to they get already, them. They already have a fan base. Yeah, I know. They already have a fan base. That's what's good with us. I remember you told me before. Like, you niggas usually start YouTube first mm-hmm. and like build a fan base, then make a podcast. Mm-hmm. We did the opposite. Yeah. Because we're going to make a YouTube. You feel me? So we, we're going. This we're summer, going, we might got going, some shit planned. Yeah, we're going backwards. But you know what I'm saying? we still going to kill it. We're going to have UJ Either in the way. woods doing ghost adventures, people. Where? Not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I ain't afraid of no ghost name. Abandoned silos? You're not afraid of that? I'm shit? not going to no abandoned nothing. Wait, why? <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> You're not tired. Ta- I, I ain't going to front. I go into an abandoned home. But if they be like, yo, this place is haunted and, and they got spirits and they got. I'm not going. You're not going? I'm not, I'm not messing with no spirits, bro. Do you think that. I just. I, I don't. Yeah. I be thinking ghosts aren't real sometimes, but like, like you think all the little, like entity shit where they like people see shit. Like you think that shit real? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I like I think like I be thinking that, but like I never experienced it myself. Like I just feel like I've, like like shit moves around my house. I don't know if it may be physically real, like, but I think mentally they can actually see something actually happening. Oh. Cause like I be thinking I think like, like hallucinations and shit. Like, I think somebody can hallucinate. So you think something. if somebody's really that scared of a place, they will see some shit. Mm-hmm. But would it be there? Or I think you can there? convince yourself. Like in a, you ever like been looking this way, and you feel like you saw somebody. So yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you turn quick. Yeah, like that. So now you go into a scary place, and you expect to and see you it. expecting to see some shit. So now you think you're seeing some shit. That's or true. you hear a crazy noise. Or now you walk to this old ass building, the building creaking, something breaking the building. You're like, yo, no, somebody was in there. Somebody. But now nah, it might be. It just. I don't even want. I don't even want to know what may be. <laughs> I'm all right, bro. You got, you got it. I'm all right. I don't even want to go, bro. Type shit, bro. Type shit, bro. But I got okay. So I got a, I got a question for you, right? Mm. What do you think there's more of in the world? Drops of water <laughs> or grains of sand? Drops of water or grains of sand. As in, like, like you see, like you know what, how a drop is. So think of the ocean. That's a lot of drops of water. Oh, well, water. Nah, I think it's that's, that's easy because water is how much of the earth? Seventy-five. Come on, man. That's but you gotta course. think about it. Like, you know how many how many grains of sand is in one beach? But you know how many, how much water there is in total in the world. So just take a you could say fuck the the ocean, just even the water just in our homes. Just water but around like, the way, like it's. But we like, don't just keep sand in our houses. We have just water everywhere. But like sand, but there's sand under the bottom of the ocean. You don't know how deep that sand go. We don't even know how deep the ocean go. So I mean, how, we do you, have, how do you know what the bottom of the ocean look like? I caught you, nigga. Nobody know. This is do. This you do. Nobody's been there. There's there's people that been to the bottom of certain oceans. Not every ocean. There's a there's a bottom. It's not like an abyss. No, nah, it there's a bottom, but we ain't never seen it. Bro, you can see, you can touch the bottom of the ocean. The bottom of the, the real, like. I mean, there's different depths of the ocean. Let's, I'm talking about the bottom. The like the bottom, bottom. Tier, bottom. Yeah. I mean, there probably is sand down there. People brought like, you you ever seen the people? Is it sand or Atlantis, nigga? Atlantis? Yeah. Nah, it's sand, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that much, look yeah. look how much grain of sand is in one beach, bro. I bet you it was like a billion or some shit. I'm about to look how much sand is on the earth. I'm about to, I'm about to, uh, how many gra- like a to grain of sand, UJ? You know how big that a grain of sand is smaller than a a drop of water. Like there could be like a hundred grains of sand in one drop. But of there's water. already too much water in general. But so there's yeah. for one drop. That shit says sextillion sand grains. Sextillion? Yeah, I've never even heard of that. <laughs> some freaky shit. <laughs> there's some freaky shit. Sextillion is crazy. But like, think about it. If there's if if one drop of water is this big, right? Say it's like this big. There's yeah, pop- no, this is, this is a light one, bro. Bro, water is seventy one percent of the Earth itself. But like, look, if a drop of water is this big, right? Mm. There could be like a hundred grains of sand in that one drop. So for every drop, there's a hundred grains of sand. But you, you know, what the I mean, Earth almost is water. That's what I'm saying. So now look at look how much sand will be here. Mm. So imagine all these drops in the ocean. Mm. Now you you add you multiply that with the sand. If it's a hundred, say the ocean is like a million drop. Like I know it's, more, it's way more. It's a million drops of water. Mm. If there's a one sand like a hundred sand particles in one drop, you do a hundred times a million. That's way more. 
I'm not jacking it. Are you sh- yo? You know how small sand is? I'm not jacking it. You know how tiny sand is? Not you might not it. even see some of the sand. The actual factuals is telling me. You can't, it can't tell you how many drops of water Say it is. It was good to bomb man. You need to change that shit. I can't change it. Why? Because that's me. That's you? Yes. I'm you, the president. You know what's weird? I was talking about this with Fritz last pod. We don't see... I said... I think Donald Trump is like an industry plant. Why you say that? In a, I think so, too. But I don't know why you think In that. a way, because when a president usually leaves the office we never hear from him again mm-hmm. but he's the only one that is like like is still relevant mm-hmm. like Obama when's the last time what, what the fuck Obama do well, you know everything Donald Trump doing but that's because Donald Trump already before he became president was in everybody's face was it wasn't Obama. that much though he was only like the only thing I remember him was in wrestling yeah but he he t- <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's the only but thing he turned it up by becoming president and then remained the same person that he was that's what I'm when saying he left presidency I feel like they use that nigga as like distraction no he used himself as distraction he be doing like wild shit like why are you involved in certain shit why are you getting caught being involved in certain shit? why are you moving so untactical I, it's how you know certain people shouldn't be president bro how are you getting caught doing something unlawful that's that's as what I'm the s- president you have so many resources to not get caught. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. But yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. That's probably why it's because like it's easy for them to put the media out on him. Mm-hmm. So like all the other real shit that be happening in the world, they don't put on the media because Donald Trump doing some dumb shit. Ooh. Because like you know, I heard like while Donald Trump was doing all that weird shit he was doing, freaking um China and like Russia made like a bunch of agreements that could like change the world, but nobody ever talks about it. Like they started trade like. China and Russia became like they're they're starting to make like a a new currency where they like combine like the yen or whatever I think euro I forget it's some shit like that it's some shit where China and Russia is like looking like a threat to the United States now but we don't talk about it because due to due to currency either currency it's like power levels because now it's like China I ain't on front that shit fire like you know what I'm saying because you know China and Russia like the two biggest like uh things against us like mm-hmm. countries so it's like. They're both combining. Now they look way... Now they're like together against us mm-hmm. because they both don't like us right because they're communism and shit like that. We're democracy. But it's like shit like that happens overseas. They don't talk about it. But when Donald Trump does some dumb shit with like, I don't know what he's doing, like like robs a, a bank, they don't put that shit on the news. Not for sure. Every time. Like every time, I don't bro. know what any other president is doing. I don't even know what the president as is right now. Yeah, doing. exactly. Nobody knows what Joe Biden doing, Nobody bro. Nobody know what Joe Biden But everybody knows. Everybody be thinking... I bet you some people be thinking Trump's still president. I was about, just about to say that. Some people still think that nigga Trump is president. That's bro. what I'm saying. Like the old people, they buy... Like, because he's always on the face. Mm-hmm. They probably, I'm telling you, they did that shit on purpose so they could use him as like a distraction tool, bro, while they do all the weird shit. On the I mean, George Bush was still in the news a little bit when he wasn't president. Which one? The, the son? Yeah. I mean, it, probably because everybody... Uh, everybody be making jokes and shit But George, George W. Bush. Yeah, but I think that's true. He was in the news for a minute. But like over time, it's still... Uh, yeah. But over time, it went away, though. Yeah. I feel like... But back then there was no social media. Now there wasn't. It was just uh, CNN. Yeah, and news and, and BBC. <laughs> BBC News. Well, you know what that means stands for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, broadcast. Bystander channel. I have no idea. I, no <laughs> I really idea. don't know. I have no idea. I thought it was like some British shit. Yeah. Is British it? broadcast channel? Maybe. Some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'd I be thinking Donald Trump is like a, a motherfucker. It's some weird shit like that. I also think there's like, there's like a, you believe like there's like bots in the world? No, I mean like. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, in what aspect? Like. <laughs> 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 like say right there's 8 million pe- 8 billion people in this world right mm-hmm. do you think that maybe 10 like 5 to 10 of those people aren't real humans but they're just like androids trying I, to study us I, I don't think I don't think I'm human I don't think so either so like I don't <laughs> I really don't I don't think I you know like say say he's not of course my you know my final destination is in this earth but like <laughs> I don't I don't think like I'm, I'm human. Like I don't think I'm like the rest of the. You might be the people. bot. You might be a bot. I don't, I don't think I'm a bot. I'm way too powerful to be. But a you, bot. but you know what I mean by bots, though, right? Yeah, I mean like you mean like a a like nigga an that, AI. Yeah, like he's like he looks human, but he literally just does the same thing every day, just like getting information. Oh, he's oh, you think he's a, a spy bot? 
Something like that. Like collecting data coming from another country, not country, coming from another planet or another universe, not another not, time. Not really another planet, but just for the government stuff, so they know what's going on. Oh, yeah. they First of all, pigeons. Yeah. I, I forgot. That shit, that shit goes off at like 7 o'clock. Damn, I know I should have turned that shit up. Oh, well. Who has a, I mean, I remember what I said last. You ever seen a baby pigeon? It's not like Corey. No, i never seen a baby pigeon. Exactly. Oh, Corey said that? Yeah, Corey says this all the time. That's his thing. Exactly. But I mean... Of course, I like. I think most things in this world, maybe a lot of animals, probably are bots. But I, I think there's maybe one, like some some mad scientist type of guy. He created like an AI thing. First of all, where the hell did dogs come from? What do you mean dogs? Dogs are created in the lab, bro. Nah, not dogs. Dogs are created in the lab. Okay. Okay. Dogs are created. If they can make this dog and make it have a brain and able to communicate and do this they doing that shit with humans bro. okay you know what they can do that shit with, with one of these animals they could do it with humans. as far as in the lab do you mean they they've bred dogs nigga they created dogs because you know they probably because you know dogs come from like wolves and shit like that mm-hmm. but they probably bred them to like create because you know some dogs are but bred to hunt what wolf look like a poodle that's what I'm saying. There's different types of like species of dogs, but that's what, oh, that's what I'm saying. That's why. If you're saying that they, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's doors you got to open. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no if poodles you're in saying, the wild. Where the fuck do you see, like, can, can a dog really survive in the wild? A dog is, first of all, from what it's become now. Yeah. It's too domesticated. Yeah. Right? So it has to be domesticated. So now, if we think about the base of it, the base of the dog, the original dog. Yeah. There's so many versions of dog that looks nothing like or doesn't even compare to a wolf or a wolf. So it's like, where are y'all getting this from? That's why I'm, that is true. It's created easily. Hell yeah. As in, because I mean, do you count breeding as creating? Because you know, some dogs were, because some dogs were bred to like, like some dogs are bred to hunt, some dogs mm-hmm. are bred to stay with their owner, some mm-hmm. dogs are bred to like find shit. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's possible. Like back in the like days, other dogs have like these dogs have different tendencies to do this and do this. If you mix a dog breed, now their mind is like that. Yeah. But what I'm I'm talking about the physical of the dog. Mm-hmm. How does this become this if the base was this? Like I don't understand how we get from to like a wolf to. To a poodle or those like you know that little mop looking dog. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That Where is, does that come from? That is kind of true because the only real like real life like dogs in the wild that I really know of is like dingoes, wolves, and dingoes, and them little uh maybe like them little African pack dogs. Yeah, or whatever. and them they all look similar. Yeah, they all look similar. Like they all got like the snout and things like that. Like nobody, no dog in the wild look like a pug. And, and but that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying is that look. We look based just in the wild. Say these dogs are just mating. These dogs in the wild just mate with each other randomly. Yeah. No one, none of these dogs have come up looking like a whole different other breed. Yeah. Why has why has nature never created a breed of dog naturally? How has that never happened? Like never happened. Like you don't see no natural looking like Ish's dog or like a. Wow, that's kind of true. I never thought of it like that. Because honestly, like even the French bulldogs, bro. Like mm-hmm. you, like. You better come get me. <laughs> nah, that is kind of true though, because it's like the dogs are the only animals that are like good with humans. Mm-hmm. Because cats, they're good with humans, but they really, they're really their own person. No, dogs were breed it that way when they would they would look at certain behaviors of this dog, yeah, and then mate him with this dog that was nice. But I mean, you're you're mating behaviors. Uh-huh. How is this transforming to looks? Oh, make it look like y'all that. have to create these looks. Like I'm saying, they got to be injecting them with something. They got to be That's building kinda... this dog from a, in the lab with a. Because now you're even to this day, you're seeing new breeds be made, yeah. cross breeds that shouldn't be breeding together. How can this same animal not be able to breed together? That is true. Like a lot, even like that's what a lot of people do. Like they breed like different dog breeds to create a new one. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. How could we be the same thing? That's like saying this human because he black and he white, or she white. They shouldn't be able to to make a child. Mm, that is true. 
But like, isn't like that in nature? Like a uh, orangutan can't can't can an orangutan create something with like a gorilla? So look, that's you eat. If they're the same thing, like you have a donkey and a horse, yeah, they can create a baby. Yeah, but like in dogs, like does that work with dogs or does it not work with dogs? Um, it can work with dogs for certain breeds, I guess. Can't because they shouldn't, but maybe can. I don't know how it works. That's honest. what I'm saying. I feel like because like I feel like dog breeds is equivalent to like like I said like a orangutan and like a gorilla. Like you don't see those two mixed, but like, mm-hmm. but it's like dog breeds is like. Like humans, it's like you could have like a black man and a white woman have like a child, but like a dog, you could have like a German Shepherd and a motherfucking pit bull have a child, mm-hmm. but it's not the same species. But it's like the it's the same. It's a dog. You know what I'm saying? Like you're cooking me right now. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, but don't. Cause it's like, cause it's like, when you go into the wild, right? The same type of animal mates with each other. Mm. Like a specific rhino will mate with suspe- with the same exact rhino. Yeah. But it's not like it's not or let me let me give another example. It would be like a like a like a chimp would mate with a chimp. Mm. A chimp would not mate with a gorilla. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. But but this is also my thing though. Why has no other breed been able to do what dogs have done? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, not no other breed. No other like animal species do what dogs have done and create like different dog create yeah. different why we don't see green gorillas or, or like blue gorillas or in, like half gorilla half like like chimp or half baboon or one. no because you you do have those people like people scientists that went and made it i think uh ligers like things like that yeah but like when they when there's a liger that shit doesn't really come out like like you, you really can't do that mm-hmm. like you could do a lion and a tiger but that's just gonna be like Genetically, like handicap, yeah. like because that nigga's get, like I remember there's a there's a liger in the world that nigga like he can't go in the wild he's gonna die because he's too big, mm-hmm. like he's too heavy niggas like niggas too big heavy and he can't he's not fast so he can't hunt nothing. Dang, freak out. Because he like there's too much dominant gene so he literally couldn't like he can't perform in the world like just like how ooh just like how dogs really can't go in the wild for and hunt nothing mm. because they're like maybe that's the reason why they don't do that because it's like. You start mixing too much shit, then they start being like handicapped and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, too. When you mix them, you because of course they're taking one gene and using it as a dominant gene. So yeah. this is nice. He's a nice dog. He's a nice dog. So now he don't got no no dog in him. But <laughs> hey, like yeah, yeah, I he ain't you. got no dog in him. So now you know we done. Damn. But I got I got a a, a question for you. you know what I'm saying I got yeah. a little little of your mean for you. Mm-hmm. Now, what is maturity to you? Maturity? Yeah. I think maturity is like accepting your role in the world. Okay. As in like you accept the person you're going to be and you're going to accept the responsibilities that come with it. Okay. So I feel like for me personally, I'm not not looking on Webster, not looking on Google. The, when I think of maturity, I think of growth. Yeah. Like I think mm-hmm. of okay. a base, and from that base, it changes. Okay, like it gets bigger, it gets stronger. It could be the same thing, but it just but it gets bigger for me. Yeah. So, I feel like because you feel me, I've been having conversations with the with the G's and them about like a couple of the guys, you know, been going through it with their ladies and shit. So mm-hmm. like, what I'm I'm coming to see is because a lot of our friends is like relationship guys. Yeah. So a lot of these niggas been in relationships for like two years, three years, four years, since we was like 18, 19. And a lot of it, and I, like recently everybody been coming to me like, yo, because you know, I'm the relationship guru, even though, you know, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. um, a lot of guys been coming to me and it's been around the same issue. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna say everybody's name, but it's been around the same issue that everybody is having mm-hmm. around the same time. Yeah. It's four people. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's really weird. Like really weird. <laughs> but um, what I think it is is we're starting now to see maturity in a relationship. Yeah. So I feel like whether it's your girlfriend, whether it's your best friend, whether it's your mom, whether whatever it is, relationships have to mature. Yeah. Like, even though you as a person, you mature, mm-hmm. but nobody looks at the aspect of like, yo, the situation we in have to grow up. 
Yeah. Like we have to grow with our age has to grow with our relationship. Yeah. So you have like certain things you could do when in a relationship when you 16, 17, like, a, yeah. which is fine. Like, you know, you go take it for some ice cream or mm-hmm. fall asleep on the phone. Me right now at this age, right? I'm 24, bro. Thank the Lord. I'm 24. Yeah. If a girl wants to call me every day, fall asleep on the phone every day, mm-hmm. that is a problem. Mm-hmm. That's something we was doing when we was in high school. Yeah, I get you. That's a high school standard for where I was at. So it would be different, say, if that's how we started and that's how we keep going, Mm -hmm. right? But like I said- If that just comes up to you like right now, like in the beginning. I I understand that. Because I'm already at a certain point of maturity Mm -hmm. of where now I can meet somebody and there's a maturity standard. Uh So let me lose my point. Relationships mature? No, but I had a I had a point coming there. But anyways, though, yeah. so uh, from say somebody meet me, you know what I'm saying? They talking about we gotta we gotta be on the phone all all the time, all day. That's not where I am right now. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So now, some of the guys is having an issue with not understanding. Like, yo, you have to kind of grow up within the relationship and not understanding that everybody like, yo, she. She changing. Yo, everything different. Like, it's not, it ain't the same. It's not supposed to be. Yeah. It's like, why Why would it be the same? If y'all relationship is the same, completely the same from when y'all met and y'all 16, 17, 18, that's an issue. Yeah. Because real life start hitting. And then that's when you're not really changing with the, so, see, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I realized that. When like I told you this, I told you this before. Mm-hmm. Like when you love somebody for real, like the first initial thought is like you fall in love, all the things like that. You do everything this for this person, but then as you grow older and as you get older and start maturing and shit like that, like you said with the relationship, you start to realize that you choose to love a person. Like mm-hmm. I, I told you, love is yeah. love. Love is a choice, Kinda also, dazzle. because now you choose this person to love, give her all your love, give her uh, all the attention, all the things that you need. You choose that person mm-hmm. because all that, all that like lovey-dovey stuff in the beginning is all gone now because you, it ran out. It's never going to be there forever. You understood mm-hmm. that. And it's like, now it's time to like, you choose to, you choose to love this person for who they are. Mm-hmm. And also realize like you can't, there's no such thing as, you can't fix uh, something that's broken. Mm-hmm. You have to love them while they're broken. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what the choice comes at. Like you got. All right. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. like you could try to fix it, but it's like they have to learn. They have to fix it on their own. On their or own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you choose to love this person through whatever they've been going through. No matter how hard it gets, life gets the, the relationship gets. You love them through and through. But it also gets tricky because that person gotta choose you back. Mm-hmm. You got you got to think about who you choose now because you a, a guy can just say I choose this woman to give her all love, but if she not reciprocating the same thing back, now nah, say goodbye. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all right. So what I've also people don't understand that. So sometimes people some sometimes people figure it out yeah. and they see that in the realm of girlfriend boyfriend or husband wife. Yeah. But that John goes for family. Yeah. That John goes for friends. Mm-hmm. Say we doing the same stuff. Like, everything, we behave in the same way. Because some behaviors are good. Yeah, something's good. But we behave in the same way from when we were 16. We approach, we look at life yeah. the same way yeah. from when we were 16. That is an issue. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, yo, we got to grow. If if our, if the point of our friendship now, right, it's we, do our, our whole thing is fuck, fuck bitches. Yeah. Life has become more than bitches. Yeah. We got bills. We got a car, got to pay. We got to drive here. We got to go to work. School. We got school. Yeah. It's changed now. Yeah, it does. Responsibilities have changed. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you don't want to be responsible. Like, yeah. you want to still be the same thing. And that's, like I said, it's not only in a friendship. It's also in, in like, that's your mother. Your yeah. mother is still treating you like you, you 14, 15. Yeah. It's like, no, as I grow, the relationship has to grow. How you view me has to grow as well. Yeah, that's true. And, like, I feel like a lot of, like, going, just going back to relationship shit, I feel like a lot of people don't realize, like, this stage of it. Mm -hmm. Because, like, me and Jay been going out for, like, 
part going on four years now. Hey. Long time, bro. So it's like you never it's like you always think about this mm-hmm. part of the relationship, but you never like you always you never know when it's gonna happen. Mm. So it's like and a lot of times a lot of people which is why a lot of people like the relationship don't really work is because they're not expecting it to happen. And it's just like, once it happens, they just think, Oh, love is gone. And then I don't have feelings for this person no more. And it just starts going down and down and down. And that's when they end up breaking up with cheating and what this, that, and the third, mm-hmm. but a lot of, that's why the strong relationships, they realize like, you know, like you said, like relationships mature over time mm-hmm. and you can't just stay the same. You can't just stay like, Oh, we're going out to the movies. This, that, and third. Oh, we're going to dinner every, every other week, this, that, and third. Which is not like that's not like a bad thing. Like it's okay. You can go out and go do all them things. But it's Ooh. like now you have to realize like there's work involved. There's gonna be certain days where you guys are both tired, you don't wanna do it. That's why me and Tyron was telling you before, like there's a lot of days where it's like this it's fifty fifty, but there's gonna be days where it's ninety t- ninety ten, mm-hmm. eighty twenty, seventy thirty. It's gonna be a lot of days like that. But it's like you have to choose your partner based on if they could they'll like how they can Basically, how they can deal with all that stuff, because mm-hmm. it's never like life is life be lifing, bro. Life mm-hmm. really be lifing. So you gotta have that one person that could be with you throughout like life and just like experience it. And, and that's why it's important to to deal with somebody who understands that growth. Like, of course, you want the the base of that relationship to be the the fun nature of it. Like yeah. how we met is like yo, like we're connecting. Like still enjoying life the same way, but still mature yeah. enough to understand the responsibilities that we now have. Mm-hmm. Like, say you want to be like a girl want to be laid up all day with me. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, we can't do that. Yeah, because it got stuff to do. Things got shit to do. Like, it's yeah. life is real for us now. Yeah. Like, we are not like kids no more. Like, you yeah. know, you just want to be at the crib, rump all day, but we cannot rump all day. I gotta go rump at the job. Yeah, you feel me? But yeah, it's how like it really like, like it really is like we like parents always tell us like life is always crazy like you guys never understand like we never understand when we was kids but mm-hmm. now that we're starting to get into like that area of like because like you now you live by yourself and you start to learn like how it is living alone and you're gonna start paying bills and things like that I'm still in school with my I'm trying to get my master's mm-hmm. and things like that and shout out D Watt with the bastards you know we trying but you know but but the thing is though some people get caught up in what they have going on though. Mm-hmm. And then lose that base of the fun and lose that base of what built that relationship because you're so caught up in your responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where that's it's, like, it's balance. Yeah, you got to you gotta find a healthy balance where it's like you're willing to, to lose a relationship, lose a friend, lose somebody you're close to because of your job. Yeah, no, it's, like not, it's, it's not that worth it. It's not worth it. Like yeah. somebody who brings a, an emotional calmness to you or like a a great conversation or a great rump, like you willing to, <laughs> like you really to, you really to pass that shit up just because of those responsibilities. Oh, I'm so, I'm so busy. I got this going on. I can't think. I got, yeah. Relax, bro. Yeah. Like I feel like when I started the pod, I was kind of like that. Cause I wasn't really good with like, what's the word balancing everything. Mm-hmm. Cause I was trying to get us to, like I was trying to like I'm trying to get us to like a certain life where we can like work off this pod like not just the podcast but we can make money off this pod different ways investing mm-hmm. people invest into us we invest in other people yeah. and this could be like our jobs one day mm-hmm. like that's why I was God like willing. you know what I'm saying and in the beginning I was always like just working hard all the time and I was always thinking some days like I just I'll be afraid like like I think I, there was a moment where I was just like you know I think I'm a little bit too invested into this and it's like it's, I'm gonna burn out one day, or it's just gonna affect a lot of the people around me and shit like that. And I feel like now, it's like now where I'm at now, it's like I'm not stressing about it too much. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, of course, I'm trying to give out the best content. We're gonna try to make the best show that we possibly can because not a lot of people watch us. But it's like now, I'm not really. It's not. I'm not focused on like trying to make get a million views. If it happens, it happens. It happens where? If it don't happen, it don't happen. Because now, because now, like I said, the base is there. You having fun with it? Yeah. Now we sitting on the podcast. We having real conversations, and we having some fun ass, funny conversations. Yeah. Like, it, it goes either way now. Yeah. And before I used to just try to structure everything to make it go this way because yeah. I I want to clip out of it. But mm-hmm. now it's like, now we could just like enjoy. Tell me, that's that that that's the nature of today though. Everybody want to go viral. 
because yeah. your your viral is your success. Yeah. If you go to all them YouTubers, not all of them, but a lot of the YouTubers that we enjoyed back in the day, like as kids, they really don't have as much views as you think they do. Mm -hmm. Like now, we don't deem a video successful if it don't have a million views. I know they don't. It's not like about the. It's not really about the. They look. They look at the 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 quantity, not really the the quality of it. Yeah, that's that's, that's just the the way that's nature crazy. is. Though. That's crazy. That's a bar. They look at the the quantity of all the the views and shit, but no, not how good the video is. It could be a great video, but it's only six hundred views. But if somebody has like a million views and some booty shit, same shit everybody else doing, mm. they gonna watch that he shit first. You just got the attention. Yeah, bro. But yeah, I, 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 if you if you ask me, I I I, I content be shitting on niggas that got more views than I. Type shit, bro. But hey, we just gonna keep grinding like we always do, bro. It's Good gonna job. happen. Our turn, our turn is almost there, bro. What are you saying? All right, we just wait our turn at the door, bro. We at the door already. Mm. Or actually, we probably we we about to go into the door. We just gotta wait our turn, bro. No, nah, it's like it's happening so fast though. Like literally, like yeah. and niggas be mad at me. I'm like, yo, but cause all right. So a lot of times people see it as like certain. I ain't gonna say somebody in the within the unit yeah. sees it as me being cocky. Like I'm like, oh. Like the fans be hitting me up, the supporters be hitting me up, yeah. and I be talking to them. I'm like, "Yo, y'all check y'all, 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 uh, y'all IGs to see if anybody hit you up, and nobody be hitting them up. <laughs> nobody be hitting them. He's <laughs> <laughs> a super villain. <laughs> <laughs> so they they got me seeing it, but truly, like all jokes aside, like I'm just like blessed to even have that as a thing mm -hmm. because like i like i told you i like being an example for people yeah whether i'm doing something good or bad if i'm doing <laughs> it bad you follow that shit too nigga <laughs> unless i tell you don't follow it type shit bro. but like unless you deem it as good or bad i like people being like yo i fuck with your shit i fuck with you i like it. the people around me they not really gone because they're all right that's uj just being uj but mm -hmm. i'm literally very grateful and thankful to even be in a position where People are coming to me like, yo, you're hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yo, I fuck with you. You my favorite on the podcast. I get that a lot. I'm number <laughs> one on the podcast. Yeah, we appreciate all the love, people. Yeah, we really talk, do, real bro. Talk, bro. That's what we're doing. It's like, because it's a, it's a bunch of people on the podcast. Yeah. So for me to be one of the main people getting like like messages or looks on the comments, like, yo, where you at? When you doing another show? Mm -hmm. Message me, yo, you just about fuck with you. You mad funny, bro. I'm all the way living in North, North here. I'm like, damn, this nigga, they watching me over there. Yeah, bro. I'm famous over there. And you know, anything, any small thing. Yeah. I'm famous now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It'd be a joke, but that's how true it is. UJ waiting for that one fan to come say it to you. You from No Regulars? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give him a hug, take a pic, everything. <laughs> for me, I like I like that. I don't mind. I don't like, but, all right, so I like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I like attention in the, in the proper realm. Yeah, you don't like too much. Of I don't like too much attention though. Like mm -hmm. if I'm if I'm sitting chilling, like eating out somewhere. Yeah. Like you see, I'm with a baddie. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me, cuz. <laughs> don't talk mean, to me, cuz. Like don't, don't say nothing. You give me one of these, then I fuck with you. But don't come up to me and say nothing. Now you ruining the thing. I get like, you. Like that's that's how I look at it. Mm -hmm. Like I don't. But at the same time, I don't like too much attention. Like from a crowd, I like attention. I like attention from. From loved ones, and I like attention from people who hate me. Mm. Real shit. I don't know how to explain it, though. Like, I like when, say I say something crazy, mm -hmm. and the conversation is cussing me. Nigga, I love it. Oh, yeah, I be seeing that. I don't even be reading it no more. It be happening a lot. I love it so much. Like, say we, we, we talking on a theory about something. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my God, how could you possibly believe that? But dweebing and shit. Yeah. Like, I cussed somebody the other day. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you've seen... Uh, what? Nigga said, fuck Batman, bro. Stop talking like that, bro. <laughs> I had to tell that nigga, fuck you. The nigga, he liked the message. So I, that's what really confused me, too. I don't know if so if it's just somebody who was a fan of the pod or somebody who's uh, it came up on their For You page. It be like that a lot. It mostly just be the niggas that just come up on the For You on page. On the For You page. So, but either yeah. way, if you disrespect Bigger Bats, bro, I got to drop the F-bomb on you. Bro. <laughs> so Niggas is crazy, bro. Hey, bro, that's tough. Going up day by day, man. But since you're talking about like heroes now, I got a question. Can these Marvel heroes beat these DC villains? Yes. It's like, no. Nah, go ahead. You think so? <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm looking at the... All right. The first one is Captain America versus the Joker. Captain America versus the Joker? Yeah. The Joker too crazy. He's killing Captain America. You think so? Captain America is soft. Yeah. I think he, he is, is soft. soft. I don't it's think... Even bad. Batman... I mean, Batman don't like killing niggas. 
But he Batman a little more hard than fucking yeah. Captain America. I feel like Captain America got too much honor for that. Yeah, no, nah, he's he's out of here. He's out of there. And the joke, it's not even like the Joker about to come nah, beat gonna, you up. It's gonna be some gonna devious. Fuck shit. you up like here, mind like nah, he gonna, he gonna I, kill like, that. I ain't never seen Captain America really get his mind messed up, really fucked with, like because like, now but, like to the, to the level. Batman has where this nigga is killing Batman family. Yeah. Like he he like shit he did to Jason. Yeah. Like like yeah, yo, like bad. like that shit is that shit could never happen to Captain America. Because I feel like in the MCU they don't really got that one devious person like that. Like if you really think about right, it. Right, because look, in the MCU, right? Yeah. It'd be somebody devious, but they're doing it for what they view as the right. greater good yeah. or right. That's how that's how all the villains are. Not in DC. No, they just be niggas that just be on bad time. Like, everybody in they just niggas that be on bad time. Everybody like, in every villain in Marvel is basically just doing is just doing the what they think is the right, right thing. thing. Yeah, but to us is the bad thing. Mm. DC they just doing the bad just because they want to be bad. Like yeah, that's true. But like, but there's but like, see that's that's what's different between Marvel and DC. DC there's different reasonings because mm-hmm. you could look at it. As like the Joker is just like misunderstood, or like Lex Luthor just wants to be like the better. He 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 just doesn't want to fall behind Superman. Yeah. But with the freaking with Marvel, every villain's like I gotta destroy this world because it will bring balance. Yeah. That's like that's how it. That's literally how like it is. You even have like like you know, they always show, not always, but a lot of situations they show the sentimental side to the to the villain, mm-hmm. and kind of try to make you feel bad for the villain. Like yeah. oh he. He's going through this, or he has a daughter, or some shit like that. Yeah, that really didn't. I mean, I mean th- that works more with. I feel like that works more with DC than like uh, Marvel. Nah, because I think Sandman. Oh yeah, I mean, Sandman, Sandman and, but like Sandman's type, it's some, like a little, it's like a little. He's not though. Fa- Sandman was in a big time movie. You cannot knock him down. It's several big time movies because really? he was in um the the Spider Man with all the Spider Man yeah. worlds. Most yeah, the, the the No Way Home. No way home. There we go. I said multiverse. <laughs> Same um, shit though. Fucking anyway. Next one though. Uh, Iron Man versus Dark Side. Dark Side. Dark Side is killing that nigga. I go because ain't nobody can fight Dark Side on their own if you're not the mightiest man. That's what I'm saying. Lie. You you can't you can't you know. That's crazy. But like they gonna they they gonna talk about Iron. There's like a god Iron Man. Okay. That's just a nigga in the suit, bro. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Bro. That suit is not fucking with Dark Side is gonna have that one beam that, that make hella right angles. Yeah, yeah, that shit's just gonna hit that nigga right the in the pop heart. Pop locking beam. The <laughs> pop locking <laughs> beam. I don't know. Nah, bro. All right, I next one know. is Spider Man versus General Zod. I, I ain't gonna front. I think Zod is overrated. I think he Because is. I've seen, but at the same time, certain shows nerf Zod. Yeah. Because they want they, they want to make a little more sense yes, for Yeah, but. Spider Man Loki a little underrated too. Nobody really knows how strong Spider Man Loki is stronger than what people he's think. He's strong as shit. I think Spider Man could be Zod. You think so? I think he could fuck with Zod. I think he can too. Cause it's like I, think he could fuck with Zod. I feel like the the movies make Spider Man just seem like a little kid. Good, yeah. But really, he's a nigga that really like. But at the same time, Zod is not pussy. So no, he's like, not. But you, he get nerfed a lot though. Yeah. He get nerfed a lot. I don't know. Gets, I, I'm gonna go with Spider Man though. Okay, okay. For sure, I'm gonna go with Spider Man. They change his race a lot too. A lot too. Yeah, he be a black man. Then he be a white man. Then he yeah. be. I don't even know. Yeah, like was then, he? By, was, the, by the end of the day though, this is what I, we're gonna talk about that next. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I got you. Uh, next one is Thor versus Black Adam. Thor versus Black Adam. Thor. Versus I feel Thor. like this is pretty even. Thor. I'm going with Thor though. Yeah, I think Thor is doing because I mean I'm going. I, I didn't see Thor tweak out. But black, like especially when Thor get mad, I didn't see yeah. him tweak out, bro. But you don't think Black Adam got the same type of power, or you think he's not as powerful as Thor? I mean, he got the same type of. That's a good. That's a good one on one. Because they both got the lightning. They both. I mean, Thor's a god though. Mm-hmm. But so is, Black so Adam is, was so technically like a god. Adam, yeah. yeah. But I don't think I think Thor is a lot smarter than Black Adam. I think Black Adam goes more with rage, and he's just gonna start like mm-hmm. he's just gonna start fighting. He's just gonna start throwing himself out there and just start shooting shit up. But Thor is gonna like be tactical with it and try to like yeah, kill him a different way. The, the way they made him look in a in a movie was yeah. like he just he just goes and just yeah, destroys shit. Yeah, just do shit. Yeah, but 
Yeah, I still think Thor though. You still but think they Thor? made him look strong as shit though. Like they did, they made him look like a dark Superman in a way. Like yeah. they just made him. I'm mad that they didn't. They're they're cutting that part out because at the end when the when the super when Superman came out, that would've been a good fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Cause that's how the freaking the animated shits were. Remember, it was like Superman versus Black Adam, mm-hmm. and the nigga needed Shazam's help because Superman can't fight nigga with magic or some shit. Yeah, so that's Superman. Uh, one thing that he doesn't like or weakness or whatever is just magic. It's magic, yeah. And they needed Shazam to help him. That would've been a good ass movie. Mm-hmm. But like, do you, are are they changing the are they changing every character in DC? I don't know. I I got annoyed and I stopped paying attention. Mm. Cause they they got a new they're supposedly casting a new Superman. Yeah, they first of all they was talking about Nicolas Cage being Superman is fucking crazy. Ain't, ain't he frail? Yes. Yeah, that don't make sense. There's a they, there's a one dude though. He's a younger guy. I think he just started out acting. He look he, he looks like the other guy, but he's bigger. Mm-hmm. Like he looks like he's like six four, like two some. Like he he look a lot bigger than the other dude. Mm-hmm. So they said they might cast him as it, but they don't know yet. I forgot what the nigga name was. Mm. But yeah, and the last one is Hulk versus Doomsday. I would say I would I'll say Hulk because Doomsday not. I don't know. I would say Hulk because Hulk has destroyed the planet before. Yeah, but Doomsday, Doomsday could destroy the planet if you really Come wanted on, to. Bro. And like that nigga, I think he did though. Now when he was fighting the, the yeah, Justice League, did. they literally couldn't kill that nigga. Yeah, they I think, literally couldn't do nothing. I want to say Hulk because I favor Hulk. Yeah, but I think Doomsday. I wouldn't be surprised if Doomsday wins. Yeah, I think Doomsday. Doomsday wins though. Because like in he, all actuality, I think Doomsday wins. Because Doomsday is literally. But I think Hulk, Hulk would be stronger than him though. Yeah, Hulk would be be the better fighter for sure. It might take Hulk a couple tries. Mm. Like it might, he might, he might like get knocked out one day. He leave him alone. Take him like a week to kill him. Like it's not gonna happen. Like all that once. The first fight, yeah. It's gonna take a couple, but I think I, I'm gonna go Doomsday because you're gonna go Doomsday because Thanos kicked on him. What? Oh, Hulk. Yeah, that was crazy. Why? Did, why didn't they? That was cringe and stupid. Niggas made Hulk look so bad after yeah. that, and then nigga didn't want nigga want come out no more. Nigga, that was so bad. Why they do that? I I love, I got something for you, God. God yeah. So here's what do you think about when I seen like a little IG not IG TikTok where they're like, yo, why are they making all of the white Characters now black. What do I think about that? Yeah, I mean, like, wait, who are they making black? Who's black? They made, they made Ariel black. He's black. Ariel. No, no I'm talking about in general. Oh, like, oh, like oh, Hollywood oh, oh, is doing oh, it. Oh, 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 Ariel oh, black. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Anyway, you know, you know, what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. What? Oh, do you think? Why do, do you I think, think? Do you think that that's okay? I don't mind it. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really care, but I feel like they're doing it because. We were so divided at one point, mm-hmm. like in the country, especially during quarantine with, with all the Black Lives Matter shit. It's like now they like, especially when Black Panther came out, like niggas united for that one. <laughs> Bro, you seen everybody, yeah, all sure. the black, they didn't never even watch. Pulling super, up in African clothing, doing African dances outside the mo- of the theater, like I yeah. mean, in the theater. I'm in sad. Newark, bro. Yeah. In Newark, <laughs> bro. In the heart of Newark. And it's like. It's like niggas never even they don't even know about the movie comics, yeah. but they just see a black African man. They yeah. just see. So I feel like they're doing it more as a way to like unite the people together and bring uh, so, unity so to cinema. Here's my thing, right? Mm-hmm. Regardless of of race, right? Yeah, we are enjoying these characters. Yeah, regardless of race. Mm-hmm. Now, what I, the issue that I have with people in it? Is that oh this character? Why is this character? Why is a why is a black person playing it? Why is a white person? If the person is an alien, yeah, it doesn't matter. It don't matter if they if they now come to the to the to on Earth, right? And mm-hmm. they play as a human on the Earth, mm-hmm. and they portray themselves as a race, then mm-hmm. you can say it's a problem. Mm-hmm. Like if you like Superman, Superman. Really can't be black. Be black because he was like from a like went on a, lived on a. But the same, he can't. I'm 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 on a I'm on a fence with Superman. Yeah, because he's a Kryptonian. Yeah, he's an alien. What race is that? As far as us here. So like, would you care if they, bl- they turn uh, Batman black? Batman is a white man. Yeah. Okay. So then that'll be about Batman it. is not an alien. Yeah. So say like they had an issue with uh Halle How- playing. Uh, what's her name? Cole Cole Halley? That's her name. Uh, ha- Chloe, Cole, Chloe Bailey. Chloe Chloe Bailey. Yeah. 
There we go. They had an issue with the girl playing uh, Ariel. Yeah. But Ariel is, is a fucking mermaid. Yeah, I know. She's a mermaid. A mermaid don't have no black or white race. Yeah, that's true. Y'all ain't say nothing about the Jamaican crab. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Y'all had no issue with the crab being Jamaican. I know. Now, if we would have just, because that's that's ethnicity. If we just made the, if we made this crab African now, y'all wouldn't have said anything. Uh huh. Because now, ooh, ooh, he's still black though. It's mm-hmm. a crab. Yeah, I know it's a crab. But I mean, so do you like? Do you have a problem with her being black, or you think I people- have no problem because she is an alien? They also said the same thing when Starfire was is a black woman in the Titan show. Is she really? Yeah. Oh, because I mean, yeah, you can make her any like race you really. Starfire literally is, is alien. A alien. I think what people green eyes. I think people just think of it as like when they you see it in shows, like you could tell like that's not a black person, mm-hmm. and they when they change it, then it's just like it just looks different. You know, people don't like change for real. People don't like change, and it's not even that. Why? Why are you bringing the racial issues of real life into fiction? I mean, they do that with everything nowadays. Like bro. it's like, I can't even like. <laughs> they ain't gonna, they they be bringing everything into this to these these fake worlds. Like we've, I feel like we've already had our set worlds, our set people, how they behave, what they do. Mm-hmm. Why not now just like create storylines for them? Why are we switching up these things? Like, like I was, I think I was telling you yesterday. Like I feel like the Marvel universe. Mm-hmm. I feel like them niggas fucked up, bro. Yeah. I really feel like them niggas fucked up because it's like, yo, we are here to see Captain America, Iron Hulk, Man, Iron Man, and Thor, Thor, Spider Man, Spider. We here to see the originals. I even know Spider Man, Spider. We here to see the yeah, the, the main, real, the Avenger, the main ones that everybody likes. That's all kids' book bags. Yeah, that's you know, like even Wolverine, the X Men. We're here to see the originals. Like, yeah, we don't care about Ant Man, Marvels. Not that we don't care. They're not as important. Yeah. Like, they're not on all the kids' book bags. Yeah. Mommy, I want to be... Ant-Man. Nope. Who the hell said they wanted to be Ant-Man? No disrespect to Ant-Man. You feel me? He's, he's fake tough. Yeah. But it's really the main ones that's... But then y'all, y'all, y'all pretty much wiped all the main ones or mm-hmm. killed them off or they're old now. Yeah. They could just recast them. See, like, like, like I was telling you before, I feel like cinema and shit like that creates... Society, for sure. Because it's like you now. That was our generation. Now they're trying to create a new narrative for the next generation, mm-hmm. and they're gonna try to build that. Like this is like kids now that are like eleven, twelve that are starting to get into it. This is their starting point now. It was Ant Man, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's mm-hmm. their starting point. We started at Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America. But even the generation before us was watching that. I know, but I feel like now they're trying to, it's like, they're trying to make it, they're trying to reach more people. They're trying to spread out as much as possible. No, people are, I promise you, I promise you, I promise this new phase of Marvel, number's about to go all the way down. I Whether the not. movie is good or not. Because not. it's not what people want to see. Yeah. And watch DC start going up. Because they're sticking to the code. Yeah. They're sticking to Batman, Superman. Flash, Superman. That's what we want to see. Yeah. Did you watch and the new Guardians movie? I didn't watch it yet. That's pretty good. That's and I'm a good. Guardians. I'm a Guardians guy. I that love Guardians because I like I like the jokes that they tell. That was a good movie. I didn't even see Thor, the Thor movie. I heard that shit was very bad. I feel like I enjoy it though, because when I when I saw the reviews, everybody was like, "Oh, there's corny dad jokes and shit oh, like yeah. that." This you just love so corny I'm dad like, jokes. Yeah, I'm about to enjoy that shit. That's oh, and that, when I heard that. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to love that. But shit. I don't even know what that shit's about. Is that shit like about his like, his like sister or some shit? I have no clue. Who is that? His wife? I have no clue. So I don't it could know. be just a little uckety, a little rump. But like the the third, like the new Guardians one, that was it was really pretty good. Like I feel like I didn't watch the second one, but like I didn't really need to watch the second one with this one. Like I feel like mm. this was a movie. It was like, it re- you really didn't need to like know. I mean, if you if I feel like if you would have watched like Endgame, mm-hmm. you would have been straight. Or what was the last? Was it was it Endgame and then Infinity War or, or Infinity War and then Endgame? Endgame. Endgame was last. Or Infinity War was last. I be forgetting. Infinity, I don't remember. I ain't gonna front. I think Infinity War was last. Last yeah. And then Infinity Endgame War. because if you know what happened in Infinity War, then you should be straight mm-hmm. with everything. But it was pretty good. Like I, it was a, it was better than I thought it would be. You should go watch um, that. 
No, I will see it eventually. Okay. For the free. Type shit, bro. Type shit, bro. But, yeah, I just think that, like, especially with, like, the race and stuff, they're trying to create narratives and nor- make it normal for certain things for the younger generation. Mm-hmm. Because they're, now, trying, they're trying to create a new world narrative. Yeah. So they're trying to make the world accepting, accepting of certain things mm-hmm. and of certain races. So now they're going to add in uh, a person... A new hero of a new race. Uh-huh. So instead of implementing this new race or new hero or new gender person or non-gender person to yeah. what's already going on, they, for me. Okay, so what superhero like DC or DC or Marvel, if they would have changed their race, it would bother. It would look weird. Like it would bother you. DC or Marvel, or you could do both. Um, like you would. Okay, so. They would change their race. Yeah. Hulk. Hulk? Yeah. Like Hulk a, cannot be uh, a black man. <laughs> too, too many, like, too many stereotypes that yeah. you can put on them. And, but it would low key be tough, though. It would be tough. Because now he put in crazy positions yeah. in life yeah. because he's now a black man. <laughs> so say he start going, going Hulk in the mm-hmm. middle of the street. Yeah. And, in the hood. In the hood. <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay. Now, because now it changed the dynamic. Because you know, once they put black man, they put hood. Yeah. Every single superhero that is a black man comes from, from the, the hood. hood. Yeah. <laughs> so now true. it changed the it changed the whole was dynamic. John Stewart from the hood. John Stewart. Uh, John. John was in the oh, military. Okay. John was in the Cyborg was from the hood. Cyborg is from. The, Cyborg was a football player. Okay. For me, he okay. could have. You know what happens with football yeah, players, yeah, but yeah. they. They come. They go to the hood after their football career don't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So static, static shock from, from the hood. The hood. Um, Luke Cage, from, Luke the Cage hood. from the hood. Black Lightning's from the, the hood. hood. Um, That's so bad. Yeah. Like they gonna like if Hulk was black, they gonna be like he's just a smart nigga in the block, the smartest nigga on the block. Smartest nigga <laughs> on the block. Yeah. So that damn, we giving them story right now. I nah, gotta pay for it. Don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel like I don't know. I feel like if Superman was black, I don't know how I could. If I if Superman was black, there would be an outrage. It would be an in outrage. the world. I wouldn't be outraged, but like I would just be like, I would, it'll take some time getting used to it. But at the same time, bro, it shouldn't matter because he's Kryptonian. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it shouldn't matter, but like you see it so much. Much, yeah. And you see like, him as the. Now it's just something different. But like, like they even explain his looks. Yeah. Like as a, you know, white guy, tall, big, you know what I'm black saying? Black hair. Like, yeah. Black hair. Saying. Like he he's a white man. Yeah. Like if I see black Superman, I would think it's like a like a like a what's that shit called? A parody movie. Mm-hmm. I think that Bruce Wayne can be black. I wouldn't be mad at it. But that's too. That's too much of a fucking stereotype. Yeah, but but like I said, once you change that character black, you got, it changes the whole dynamic. I mean, it, I think if anyone be black, it'll be Batman. May, maybe though. <laughs> like I, I, out of honesty, if you want to be completely honest, <laughs> like Batman is honestly like that's the easiest thing to turn oh, black. To turn bro. black, man. You can cast yeah, nobody. Any. I think there is a black Batman though. I think oh, I in the universe. Yeah. I think See, that's why. That's what's good about like uh, uh, superheroes and comics and shit like that. There's different universes. Versus, yeah. So I like, there there's, one, there could, you, there's like different multiverses. So you mm-hmm. can you can pull out a black Superman, like like in the freaking Flash movie. There's a, the Superman Superman's a girl. Really? Yeah, because they're because you know in Flashpoint they went they changed the universe up. Oh. So you remember how in Flashpoint Superman was like all like. Like skinny and yeah. shit. Now they changed. They put. They made her a girl, but it's the same like plot. Like that's interesting. But like I didn't like how they do it because they didn't do it like because I think I really didn't pay attention. Like remember we was watching Super Bowl. I saw I'm not looking at it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. When they when they first I'm not oh. looking at it. I don't so want to see nothing. Would you want me? I want to go in. No. Okay. I want to go in and be surprised. Okay. 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 And so, then and then this is why I be I, I turn even though I'm super cool I turn into dweeb mode when that shit come on I'm like yeah that shit ain't happening in the comic girl. <laughs> that shit happened in the comic. I ain't never seen this shit before. Like I'll be on that type of time. Yeah, bro. But another person I wouldn't I could I could see Aquaman being Asian. I could see Aquaman being Asian. I could see him being Asian. I could I could definitely jack that. I could see him being Asian. Like, I could like, definitely, Asian yo, dude. Like, but I, I mean he's Pacific Islander nah, playing I, him. The person playing him is that, a Pacific Islander. Is he really? 
Yeah. Oh, oh, oh a, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking know. about the I'm thinking about the, the cartoons. That nigga's a, a blonde He's white a man. Blonde white man. <laughs> okay, okay. <I'm, laughs> That's what I mean. That nigga oh, is blonde and white. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can see him. I can see him as an Asian guy. Completely Asian though. I'm talking about like a Japanese Chinese guy. Full, I'm, full. He ain't mixed with nothing. I'm thinking of the dude from like. <sighs> because you gotta be when you're Aquaman. You gotta be the long hair, pretty boy. Oh, okay. So like a me? mixed nigga. Yeah, like or a, Samoan dude. Samoan dude. Like yeah, that'd a be a big, good strong, somebody that long hair. I was just saying Asian because Asian, like a lot of Asians in like I islands. think like a like a Indonesian or a. Uh, What's that? Where are you from again? Philippines? Philippines. A Filipino. Yeah, I can see a Filipino. Yeah, a Filipino. The Filipino is a good one. Yeah, a Filipino can play them. Yeah, y'all yeah, be a little... Some Filipino be a little... Uh, huh. They don't be tall, but they be huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, their jeans is pretty decent. Let me think. Who else? Is anybody could be... You can see anybody being Spanish? Spanish? Uh, Damn, that's a great question. Wait, can anybody be Spanish for real? That's not already Spanish? Mm. How Jordan? Nah. They are now. Nah, so, how Jordan gotta be white? Uh, he's he a low op. Key could be. He's a op. He basically a cop. He could be Spanish, low key. I can't see him. He could Spanish. go for Mexican. <laughs> he, he could go for Mexican. He is like blue collared policeman. He could go for Mexican. Some some Mexicans be white passing. Some Mexicans be white passing. So. I'm talking about like curly hair dude. Maybe like a nigga like. You're thinking of the Mexicans that or Spanish people that's growing up in black and brown neighborhoods. No, I'm talking about uh, <laughs> like white side Spanish. White, yeah, white okay, side. Okay, I okay. think you, like you could it goes like a, like a. You're thinking a, of our area yeah, Spanish yeah. people. No, no, no. I'm no, thinking no. you think okay, okay. You thinking about like white people with the straight hair? Yeah. I mean like Spanish people with the straight, straight hair. hair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Not, not okay. You thinking of you thinking of Latinos? That's yeah, yeah. Thinking, oh, you think okay? Let me. What? Who else? Flash? Could Flash be? Flash can be black? Nah. Flash can't be black. <laughs> that's too that's too much. Kid Flash can be black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kid Flash can be black. How about Which is crazy? How about Marvel? Where are this shit in there? Scarlet Witch could be a Spanish woman. Easily. Scar- Scarlet she could Witch be can... a thick Latina. <laughs> she could be a thick Latina. Easily. Scarlet Witch could be a Spanish woman. Yeah. Wolver- is Wolverine Spanish? Wolverine could, could be a definitely Spanish, be yeah. Mexican. He could be a Mexican nigga. He could be Mexican. He could have a little, because Mexican be kind of hairy yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. be hairy. Huh. Jacked. Uh-huh. Yeah. He could be you Spanish. You know them boys. Yo. He could be a Spanish The way dude. his hair cut be. Yeah, that's a Spanish. Little. Yeah, that's, that could be a that's Spanish a poppy. Dude. He's a poppy, for sure. Am I missing sure. anybody else? Spider-Man. Nah, that's a great one. Spider-Man, I mean, Miles Morales is. Yeah, he's, he's black and like Spanish, so I guess. Yeah. Oh. I but know. you see how. They make an emphasis on telling you that he is Miles Morales Spider Man yeah. and not just Spider Man. Yeah. Because nobody was saying Peter Parker Spider Man. Niggas never was doing that. That's true. Like they make sure, like, nah, he's Miles Morales. Dallas, he's, yeah. he's the black one. <laughs> yeah. That is the black one right there. <laughs> they making it short to tell you. No, no, no. You're yeah. watching the black one. Just in, case, the black. <laughs> just in case you know. It's not like the usual Spider Man. Yeah, he's he's yeah. black. It's okay. So, that's weird. <laughs> and he put in Miles Morales. Really, it's really black man in yeah. fine print. They put it at the, the at the bottom, like it's sick, bro. Cinema's really sick, bro. But I, I gotta. I, okay, I got another question. So, would you rather have all the money in the world or have every single fictional power known to man? Me have every single fictional power. Yeah. So can I control the power? Uh yeah. Nigga, give me them fucking powers, nigga. You would want, but like that's hella attention. You think, or would no, you? No, nigga. If I could control the power, would you be? I'm gonna be so tactical. Oh, so you know they're not, they're not gonna know you have the power, nigga. Nobody will know except my loved ones. So would you have bread? Like I'm gonna steal. Nigga say he's gonna steal, but like you I'm, think, honestly, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna call it stealing, but I will be an athlete. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't want to be in the league. Like, so you gonna be, you gonna be in the. Oh, so you gonna be that? T- oh, mm-hmm. ooh, that's kind of tough. Yeah. I was thinking about. Because if I'm the richest, if I have all the money in the world, I can like make it as like nobody knows who I am. Imagine you got all the money. You can. Nah, they documented everything nowadays. No, think about it though. You got all that money untaxed. Think about it though. If I had all the money in the world, if you I rule the world. If you had all the, that's true. I was just about to say that. You got all the money, you rule the world. So that means everybody is looking at you. Not necessarily. Because a lot of people think that Elon Musk and them niggas is the richest nigga in the world. But low key, the richest niggas in the world is those 
those uh, Saudi Arabian niggas that own the oil companies, the niggas that be in the turbine, those niggas is... Brent, oh, wait, hold on. You got to unplug your shit. You should unplug. Oh, never mind. You good now. Yeah. All right. Like, th- like because, like, think about it. Like, a lot of people think that there is way richer people in the world than Elon Musk. Mm-hmm. Because if you're really that rich, you can, like, you have enough money to, like, go ghost for real. Mm-hmm. Like, you could pay off a lot of people to be like, oh, just wipe me off. My thing is, why do, why do we even know what... Like Elon must be at some people got his number. I mean, you you just need that one person to yeah. see like, oh, he's the richest man in the world. But like, I think I think if I had, but if I had all that power though, I feel like like would you say would you save niggas, or are you just gonna be just you just gonna be the best would, athlete in the world? If I have all all those powers, would yeah. I save? I mean, <laughs> like say like got like say like like say like some shit like nine eleven. And there's people. Oh yeah, for sure. So you gonna go over there? If I can avoid like a, but then you have the issue like Superman. Yeah. Now everybody where he's expects you. Almighty man. But now the U.S. wants you to be protecting the U.S. Yeah. And leave everybody else out. Mm-hmm. So now it's an issue. That's what I'm saying. So now are you the world's protector, or are you your country's protector? Uh-huh. Or are you everybody's op because of your power? Yeah. So now, but me, you that's why I would try to stay under the radar. But like, I and feel even like, certain certain places where I would go and save people, yeah, I would only use certain powers. Okay, but I just feel like so because so, certain powers aren't noticeable. But like, I just feel like with all that power, bro, they gonna find out like something. You just gonna slip up one way, mm. and then that's when the government come take your ass and be like, "Oh, this nigga can really destroy the world like fucking Vegeta and Goku, like with a snap of a finger." Now you better leave me the hell alone. And I'm a black man. <laughs> come on, son. You better leave me alone, there, bro. I think I think I'll take powers though. I think I'll be more fun. The money is cool, but I can all I could always acquire that money. Yeah, you can acquire it over it, especially with all that shit. Like you said, just be a motherfucking athlete. I mean, I'm playing every sport. That's what I'm saying. Be the first nigga to play every sport, shh, 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 shh. and I'm immortal. Yeah. I'm gonna be the first nigga to play every sport. First nigga to dunk from the three point line. Yeah, between the legs. I'm like, oh my god, we've never seen this. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Yeah, but damn, that means. But you in the spotlight to, now. I'm going to defy. Uh, damn. But now you're in the spotlight. Now you do all this shit. Now you're in the spotlight. Like, say you're the first nigga to play basketball and football. Damn, you're in the history books. Yeah, now niggas gonna look damn, at you as like superhuman. Damn. They gonna start look like diving yeah. deep into you. Damn, man, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I take it back. I may not be that athlete. I'm. Yeah, I might just have to get low. Just get. But at the same time, it's like yo, you got a nigga. Like I said this on the last time she was here. You got a nigga like like Spider Man. Yeah, he got all these powers and he's poor. I know <laughs> he, got, he got all his power He's living in the trenches He's, he's living treacherous I don't know why but, but what are you doing? I know He's living in the trenches And nobody know him You got a, you got a billion dollar suit Billion dollar suit on Billion dollar powers And you have no money Billion dollar powers No money No friends No memory of anybody Like it's just so Like he lives a shitty life I ain't gonna lie For what? Like he, I ain't gonna lie bro If I was in that scenario I'm like yo fuck it See Let and this we got to start making these super... And that's why I fuck with DC. Yeah. We got to start making more of the superhero shit more realistic. What people would actually do yeah. based it on people's actual morals. How many times are we actually going to see... We're going to have more people as mercenaries than anything. Oh, yeah. Based it on actual... How many times are you going to see somebody putting themselves aside to go and save somebody? Go save the world. That's true. But like those are anti-heroes though. Yeah. I, I would just want my own statue. That's all you want? Yeah. So you just go, you want it in America or somewhere else? I want it everywhere. I want it in America. I want it in Liberia. I want it in, <laughs> I want it in uh, China. Because China, they be out there worshiping niggas. China yeah. and Japan and shit. Yeah. The way they love Chase and McGrady Ooh. and yeah, Yao Ming and Kobe, the way they, nigga. I might be an anomaly, like an urban legend yeah, in over there, motherfucker. They going to see me and they going to they gonna worship me as like God. I'm trying to show you, bro. I might do that. Like, I might do that my like my off days. Like, just, <laughs> I fly over, I fly over like Japan Yo. and like, like save some niggas real quick or like fly. They see me to flying. This day, and they Chase McGrady is still looked at as like. In China? Yeah. He's China's Michael Jordan. Yeah. That's the same shit with Kobe in the Philippines. I ain't mm-hmm. going to lie. Oh my God. Every Filipino love Kobe. Every Filipino that's... basketball player is. I ain't going to front. I think that is for a lot of countries because the world really caught on to the world yeah. caught on to basketball at the end of the Jordan era. Yeah. And picked it up Kobe, Kobe era. Yeah. But nah, the Filipinos love Kobe. Mm-hmm. Like that's their passwords. 
Like I would like if you really wanna like hack into a Filipino computer, you put Kobe on that motherfucker. That shit. <laughs> Kobe or password, bro. I swear to God, bro. Filipinos is so simple. Kobe bro. Bryant is the password. Every crazy. every Filipino got a pair of Kobe's or a Kobe jersey. Mm. You got one? I had a pair of Kobe's before. I think I had a pair of Kobe's before. I just don't like. I, I can't wear low top shoes. Mm, My ankles fuck. Ankles and shit. Yeah, so I just don't. I I just didn't have. But I had a pair of Kobe's before though. But like, yo, Filipino, like, no, I'm talking about like, hard, like I'm half. So like, I'm just like, I'm like on the spectrum. Like, I'm not really mm-hmm. like, the, I'm talking about the motherland and like the niggas that is like children of the motherland. Like they love Kobe. Mm. Like, it's like, oh my God, bro. And like, I remember there was like a, there was like a Filipino movie that came out like a couple, like a year ago. It was like, like a funny, like stereotypical Filipino movie. My mom went, they, she said she was dying because everything was true. Like, Filipinos are sick, bro. Like, a Filipinos have... It was like a parody movie. Yeah, it was like a parody uh, movie. But it's like, yo, Filipinos... Like, growing up, half black and Filipino, when I was a kid, bro, it used to be rough, bro. Mm. Especially when I used to go to my cousin's house. Them niggas used to freaking mess with me all the time. I remember one time, bro. I'll never forget this shit. I was... It was... I was at Brandon's house. My cousin Brandon and his Filipino... What what I, what I realized is a lot of Filipinos, they are, they are... They have dark humor. And they're very sick. Like they joke a lot, mm-hmm. and they don't like they don't take shit serious. But like they'll be like they'll they'll be like, oh, you want some Popeyes or something like that? And he's like, you, like, <laughs> like oh, Darius, but oh, Darius, you gonna eat a watermelon? I'm light skin. But when my dad come, he ain't saying none of that shit because this big six six motherfucker. Yeah, he's not gonna, he's not gonna say that. He's all oh, that shit. And I remember. Uh, we, did he tell your pops when he said that or no? I don't remember uh. because I just thought it was bro. They always joke, so I just think it's just a joke. So, but then I remember it was I was. Five, I think I was eight, and then I was in I was in his basement, and we was all playing video games, and like they were always better at me in video games, but I, was, I used to just want to I just watch them, mm-hmm. and I remember we all started fighting each other, and he had his older cousins, they was like 15, 16 them niggas took my pants, and the girls were down there too, and they ran up the stairs with my pants and locked me in the basement with all the girls down there in my underwear. I was eight years old, bro. I was so, wow. It was so bad, it was really bad. Like they like they're really like they're some sick. I would I would never forget that shit too. So you remember who did it too? Oh hell yeah, I remember oh, all. Wow. I don't remember all three of them niggas. <laughs> I, know, I know all three of them niggas. I would never forget that shit. Niggas pit me. You probably bigger than them now too. Oh no, nah, I definitely am. Like I yeah. grew a lot of them. Yeah, go wrestle. <laughs> like get a quick wrestling. And there, like bro. I feel like they always fucking like, it, oh they always like. Like section me out of shit, mm. especially when I go over because like they have a lot of parties, like Filipino parties, like they always have big parties, and like I remember they used to like always do stuff, and like they always like leave me. I always be like last one in the basement, like still playing video games. They always I like, feel like also you didn't, you already are different from them, yeah, and then you ain't really grow up with them like that. You know yeah. how they was like they all locked in, yeah, sleeping with each other, yeah. eating with each other, and you would just come over occasionally, like hey. Yeah. It's me, cousin Darius. Yeah, I'd be like, yo. With the black people hair. I know. So, <laughs> like, yeah. I was, like when I when they would sleep over, I would sleep over at their crib. But it's like, I, like, oh, I, I used, they used to be slick with the jokes too. Mm. They used to be like, they used to be a little slick with. It. I'm always like the butt of the joke. I'm like, yo, y'all nah, I know. mean, Liberians are kind of the same way. Yeah. Like, say we bring a a mixed race or somebody has a, a child with somebody out outside of being, cause you know how you know how I am. Yeah, bro. yeah. So, like my my nephew, he's uh. He's Puerto Rican. Yeah. So his ethnicity is Puerto Rican and uh, Liberian. Liberian. Uh-huh. Like my brother was born in Liberia, so like he's literally Liberian Puerto Rican. Yeah. And when I tell you, like, from the jump, they can just start speaking Spanish to him. Mind you, I mean, he's like a kid, so he don't. Now that I'm older and I'm wiser, I kind of like, you know, feel bad. Yeah. But then, leche, leche. <laughs> like, niggas would just be doing that. Like, yo, the nigga speaks English. Yeah. <laughs> like, so they'd be like, making fun of him. Like, no, you want leche? Like, you want leche? Like, oh, so you deal with what niggas you yeah. be? <laughs> <laughs> so now you see the other side of it, nigga. <laughs> niggas used like, to be like, hide the watermelon. Like, that's so fucking crazy. That is crazy. crazy. Like, hide the watermelon is fucking crazy. That is crazy. I didn't even like watermelon at that's that time. That's crazy. <laughs> that is really crazy. Like, they used to But, like, like I, I, like, it be jokes, but it's like stereotypical jokes. So yeah. it's not like, you know, but my older brother really used to just, because he took Spanish. Yeah, yeah. So he really knew some words and he'd be trying to talk to my nephew in Spanish. Yeah. And he would, my nephew would low key get mad. Yeah. How old he is he now? Like a, he's 14, maybe. Oh, okay. Wait, he lives in Jersey? Or he, nah, he, he lives, lives in Florida now. Oh, okay, okay. He lived down there, down there. Okay. I was talking to him the other day. I'd be trying to play him in Tekken, but he'd be ducking me. Mm. You know about the pod? 
I have no idea. That's not human. Hey, maybe. I have no idea. Like you said, niggas be knowing about the pod. Don't, don't say, say nothing. nothing. Yeah. Type shit, bro. It's just how. And also, I feel like when like, I feel like I have fan members who watch the pod and don't say nothing. Oh, of course, but I, you know what I mean. Like, there's that de- you definitely have like, like. Do you think your sister watches it? I think my sister. She pays attention when it go viral. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because like but I she know send it out. I know Corey. Corey's dad watches. Yeah. Jordan's Jordan's family be watching. Oh, word. Yeah, Jordan's dad and his mom be watching. Like when he on the podcast. Oh, he's on. Stuff. He's yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, Tyrone mom be watching. Um, oh, she be hearing us, cousin. Jason's grandparents watch every episode. Really? Yes. That's so cool. I didn't know that. And then he they used to talk about like why you curse so much. Yeah, <laughs> it used to be bad. He used to be like I, I don't know. They, like they used to talk about. Like shit that they like they he talks about and he's like wait how you know that he's like oh we watched the podcast I'm like oh shit wow so yeah. they probably saw his whole little rant yeah Jason if you're hearing this you're not gonna watch this you're hearing this now we gonna talk buddy how do you feel about that like so here's how before you even say I feel like we are the producers yeah so I don't think it's as important for us to watch the pod mm-hmm. but promote the pod yeah yeah. But, we don't like a lot of us don't watch it, and, and everybody think that's crazy when we say it to people. Like, no, nah, I ain't really watch that because it's the same thing. Like Drake don't listen to his music, music all the time. Like, why <laughs> Drake listen to his music all day? Because think about it. you. If you work on something for hours, mm-hmm. you get sick of it. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's the best the downside about this podcast. Like I can never enjoy it like how everybody else does mm-hmm. because I watch it every day. For a week straight, and I know what's gonna happen. What's gonna, it's like? There's no, there's no surprise. To it. There's no surprise to it. But there's some there's some podcasts where we have cool conversation. Where I put it on, like if I'm bored, I'll just listen to it. Right, yeah. But like a lot of times, it'd be like I'm not like I know what's what's about to happen. Like mm-hmm. that's why that's why even with Chris, like when we make music and shit like that, mm-hmm. you don't like when you hear your song and when you make a song or some shit like that. It's not like it hits, mm-hmm. but like if you hear somebody else's song where it might hit better, it might hit better because yeah. you never heard it before. Like with the pod, like. We know what we're talking about because we've been on the pod. Mm-hmm. But like, if well, other niggas on the outside looking in, they never seen, they not like, watching I've, us. I've tried to watch my episode, but then I end up doing something else because like I know what's coming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or unless like I know, yeah, we had this conversation. Yeah, and I want to uh, clip this. Mm-hmm. Then I then I you for me. That's what I'm saying, but, but uh, I can like that's the only one thing I always say. Like I knew it was gonna happen too. I'm like mm. I would never. Enjoy this podcast the way these people be watching it all the time. I would never get to like people be like, like shout out to Esther. She's like, oh my god, you guys are so funny. You guys doing like I'm like, yo. She's like, remember episode this number? I'm like, nigga, I ain't see that shit. (laughs) I'm like, I ain't see that shit. That's unless somebody clip it or tell me, yo, at this time I said this, Mm -hmm. then I know. Yeah, bro. But if you quoting. Me or somebody from yeah, like don't quote me from fifty episodes ago. Yeah, nah, it's deep. I will not know what you're talking about. See, like that's what, like for a while I used to know what, like what I've said mm. because I'm so I listen to everything. So like I'm I kind of like I'm, it's like repetitive like in my ear. I'm like I'm continuing listening to it, but now like if you tell me, maybe like mostly the topics topics I'll know, but like if it's like side conversations like this, I will not know. Because like the topics is like mostly I write them down all the time. I always think about it for the week up, so I know what I'm gonna say. But it's like the other shits is like I wouldn't know. Like sometimes I'll be repeating shit a lot. That's the one thing. Like I, that's another thing. Like I remember niggas be talking about yo, we should do more freestyle. Pod. I'm like we could do freestyle pods, but it's just Bro, like niggas don't understand. All y'all are not freestyle people. <laughs> Some like somebody got. I ain't gonna say too much. But like, everybody <laughs> is not a freestyle person. That's what I'm saying everybody don't know what to say. Everybody can't hop on a camera or hop on a. In front of the mic and, and just speak. go. That's what I'm saying. Only a few niggas can do that. Like everybody don't they don't realize the idea of it sounds good. It does, but when you actually hear it, it doesn't. If say you say yo, I'm a say you say I'm gonna take a seat back. Yeah. And I'm gonna let y'all operate today. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let whoever the two is right here today. Y'all lead the pod. How many niggas you think is, can actually do it? I want to hear. Who do you think if you say yo, today I'm a. Um, I think you. Fritz, uh, Chris, Jordan, Tyrone, Corey, Corey, Corey's on the fence Mm -hmm. because Corey is like, he, Corey repeats stuff a lot Mm -hmm. and he doesn't know he repeats stuff a lot, but I know he does because I I hear it like a lot. (laughs) So like, I'll be like, there'll be times that he says this stuff over again, Mm -hmm. but it's like, it's it's just whatever. Jason, 
has a lot of information in his mind, but he don't know when to say it or when he should say it. Mm-hmm. So, like, when, if shit goes dead, he'll just let it go dead. And that's mm-hmm. when I'll bring up some shit. Um, am I missing anybody? Uh, ish, ish, I think you need, like, he needs, like, a good person, like, next to him to help him out, mm-hmm. like, to speak about shit. But he also knows a lot of shit. And Tom, I feel like Tom's the same way as, like, Corey. Like, he'll, like, Tom talks a lot. Somebody calling you? Yeah, my grandma. Oh, I thought that was great. Up. I thought, so Tom, he knows a lot, but he's going to keep repeating the same thing over and over again. Mm-hmm. Like, he be talking in, in circles. Yeah, you keep going around yeah. in a circle. That's why I'm saying, like, and even, even Chi-Chi, I feel like Chi-Chi's pretty good at it, but mm-hmm. he needs he needs somebody. Mm-hmm. Like, he's not going to sit here and just, like, talk. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like, like, when you, when you pod, bro, it's like, you need... It's like it's flow mm-hmm. and shit like that. It's like there's gonna be times where shit just go dies down, but you just gotta like think of something off the spot, whatever you've been thinking. Like that's why it's easier if you come in with topics because it's not like we're gonna. It's a set thing. It's just just in case shit go dead, you could just talk just about some bring shit, something up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's a lot easier than just like coming up with something out their ass. And I be like the like I said, because it, it, it be conversations aside from this, I'm like, bro, do y'all think like in and I be bad guy every time I say it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't think you're capable of doing that. Mm-hmm. If Derek don't have nothing written on that thing, I don't think you can control how the, the narrative, how the podcast go. Mm. Like, and keep it a healthy, comfortable conversation without it being like, yeah. So, what y'all do today? Yeah, that's how it be, bro. That's, <laughs> Yo. Hey, that's, that's, just, that's the shit with potting, bro. You got, like, that's why I'm saying, like, that's why I feel like this is good for us because we all got different personalities. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's why it's fun for me because now I could, it's like, Putting Wait, pieces to a puzzle. Who have not been on an episode with before? You've been on one with Ish, Jordan, Fritz, um, Chris. And what? That's it? Chris, Tom. Yeah, just Chris and Tom. Oh, okay. Coming soon, though. We'll see. See you. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. Right. But yeah. So yeah, I just feel like that's, it's like, it's, you, people really just think you come on here and speak in your mind. There's a lot of things, a lot of people don't have a lot of shit to talk about. So yeah. you gotta you gotta you gotta get that shit right, especially when we have controversial shit. Like you gotta have like, you know, fa- either facts or just like something to come with to talk about. So well, all right, what stops you from going in the comment section and nigga fuck you talk about nigga so about <laughs> hey, there's, so, there's just so many people. <laughs> oh god, there's just so many. I, there's too many niggas to type. I ain't gonna lie. It's, mm. After a certain like like the first batch of people that just be like there's there's like there's like twenty people that come in like go in the comments that, that be saying first they be racing to the comments. Yeah. I only comment to them, but if there's niggas that's like talking shit, like I'm like, nah, that's too many people, and it'd be a lot. Like I probably get like if I could guess how many comments we get a day, like through TikTok, it's probably like yeah, phone thousands. Overheating or some shit. Uh, nah, because on TikTok it's kind of like what's that called? It don't pop up until yeah, you I don't open got, it. I don't have post notifications on TikTok, so it's not really like keep alerting, but like it, it builds up. Like every time I press, because like. When I look at the notifications, it says 99 because that's like the max. That's if I press it, yeah. it'll go back to zero. But like in like 20 minutes, it'll go right back to 99. That's tough. Like it, like if I can guess how many comments and like reactions or notifications we get a day, it'll probably be like like with likes and like the thousands, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's that's a lot. Tough, it's bro. a lot. But t- like even even Instagram now is getting a lot with like the likes and like the comments. Like my shit always be jumping from the Instagram, especially niggas just be commenting and the shit when oh, shit goes nah, like. Instagram, boom, man. Yeah, we almost at. I think we're at 11k now. It's a lot. That's a, that's that's so fire, bro. It's good, bro. Going up day by day. I told these, bro. So this is my this is my little philosophy, bro. Yeah. If I I said this in the group chat the other day. Yeah. If I find somebody right, mm-hmm. and I lock in with them yeah. before the the podcast blows up, yeah. <laughs> then I'm gonna stay with them. I'm gonna lock in. She gonna hold me down through the fame. So now, now if I don't. <laughs> This nigga is a sick human being. I don't know if y'all know. He's very sick. He's 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 evil. Nigga's is evil, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be a massacre. <laughs> <laughs> some, some, it's gonna be a massacre, bro. Some beautiful lady saved this because you got you got. Late. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna you ruin gotta the think world. about it. It's a lot of people seeing my face. Yeah, and I've been getting a lot of followers from from women. Yeah, but they. <laughs> they not tough. I ain't gonna fight. Don't follow me unless you're tough, man. They haven't. They haven't been tough. But I've been. But I know it's coming. Yeah. For me, just based off most of the followers I've been getting, mm-hmm. I've been women. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, 
Women is preying me. It's some, coming some together. Some woman, please like, save this soul, bro, yo, before the world is over. It takes over. Bro. I already told him, bro. So the 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 way this I, I kind of like, the way the podcast is going for me is it's it's yeah. skyrocketing. Okay. So now you give me this fame by December, <laughs> like it's getting cold. Like I don't. You need help. You better. So they better, they better save me before what, what, I save everybody else. What's your predictions of the pod when we get to like the, the end of the year? I haven't been wrong yet. Uh, you gave me good. Yeah, you good. Uh, by the end of the year. So by the end of the year, like uh, December, seven hundred thousand on TikTok. Seven hundred thousand, all right. Yeah, for sure. Seven hundred thousand on TikTok, Instagram. I think Instagram is gonna have another jump. Uh huh. Like it did when I was on there the last time. <laughs> I think I think Instagram's <laughs> gonna have another jump. Um. So I'm gonna say IG at least forty. Forty k. Mm, that's a that's that's tight. That's forty k on Instagram is a lot. That's, that's like lot. that's like four million on t- TikTok. TikTok, yeah. That's a lot. I'm gonna say forty k. Right, that's not bad. That's not bad. I never told no lie, man. Forty hey, k we'll on IG by December. December. That's not bad. That's doable. That's, that's really doable, doable, bro. And I, tried, I think bro. I think there's gonna be a video mm-hmm. that's really gone. Like going like shade room or some shit. Blow up. We was on New also, Jersey shade room. Also, uh, also. That was like the first time. Yeah, we've been out here for how long? And a year and a half. But that's the other thing. We also don't ask for promos. Mm-hmm. We don't pay for promos. It's all natural. It's bro. all natural. Yeah, Even bro. though it would help, but it's like nah, bro. We, we ain't we'll, really we'll grow for that organic. Shit. We'll, we'll grow, grow organically. organically yeah. Like I always say, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to be like a motherfucking blow up like a bomb, bro. I want to be like a forest fire. Let that shit. Tell you, don't bro. don't let me blow up like a bomb. <laughs> Please, someone save this. <laughs> any don't, woman, don't let any woman, me blow up like a bomb. If you are, if you are oh. over the age of 20, 23? 20, 20, 21, 22. Nah, twenty two for 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 good measures. Twenty two. You got melanin in you. You like you like uh, British accents. Uh, <laughs> you can cook. <laughs> you can cook. <laughs> Save go this ahead, man. Go ahead. Line bro. me up, man. Keep keep going, man. What else, what else? What else they need, man? You, you intellectual. You got a. You got a. You you can have a degree. You're getting a degree. Uh, if a plus, if you good with the the superheroes, you you knowledgeable Ooh, in the superhero. That's, that's plus ten attribute right there, man. And like uh, that. give me two more. Give me two more. For uh, two more, there, man. The the freakies. <laughs> 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 you gotta give me the freakies. The freakies and the uh, mm. oh, what else? Well, what's one more? I a do. companion, someone he could talk to, bro. Come or on, someone, bro. someone that is not on his ass all the time. There we go. Like you doing your own shit, he doing his own shit, but you come back together as one unit. Shh. Amen. <laughs> if you Amen, need it, man. in the comments, you just, his his, his Instagram. Go find him, please. If not. The world is over. The world is over. You man. know when, fucked up, when Raven had the his fa- her father in the motherfucking <laughs> head, nigga, that shit that that little crystal breaking yeah, right now. Tell you <laughs> that bro. crystal breaking. What? The, nobody can stop that nigga, but what? a woman. But a woman can stop the, stop trying on, bro. Yo, this nigga. Yeah. Trying, <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop. Yo, I'm bro. I'm, to, I'm telling you, Trigon is crazy. I told you, I tried to. What's the name, bro? Hey, bro. Trigon is. You mean Trigon is out? He trying to come out. Oh, bro. What's the question I got? All right. So, which one would you rather survive? You have to survive five minutes, and if you survive, you get a billion dollars. You have to fight Kimbo Slice in the back of a behind the Popeyes, or you survive a two v one UFC fight against the worst UFC fighters in the whole the, in the whole thing. You said I got fight Kimbo Slice recipes. You said I got fight him in a like prime Kimbo in the back of a Popeyes, or you have to fight two of the worst UFC fighters. Kimbo. In the UFC, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> that nigga Kimbo was a big dude. That was like, a big dude, really heavy hitting, like no mercy, like yes, bro. And but two, how long I'm fighting him for? Five like minutes. Five minute fight. That's a long time. That's a long time, bro. That's a long time. The worst, the two worst niggas in the UFC. Yeah. Oh man, they still nice as shit. That's what I'm saying. They they're still like conditioned. But I got I'll fight one man, but. One professional before I fight two. You fight one professional, but Kimbo, Kimbo. Kimbo's dangerous, but but I, I gotta get out of there. You gotta tire get, him out with something like you go. You gonna take Kimbo, bro? I gotta take Kimbo. I can't fight two UFC niggas. 
All they gotta do is both put me in the arm bar. I know. That's it. <laughs> That's like a crucifix, That's bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. They're in like this, like, <laughs> like nigga, fuck no. Yo, nah, They put bro. me in the double arm bar, nigga, my life is over. Nah, I think I'll take Kim. That's gonna uh, bare knuckle with Kimbo. Remember them shits back just in the get, day? Yo, Kimbo used to just hop out the whip but just start niggas swinging. was really trying to get it on with him. Yeah, you just gonna I'm avoid? A like, dick ducking? No, I want to say, I remember he was there that day when I was boxing with somebody and he just kept moving. Yeah. That's, That's what you? I'm going to do, yeah. For five minutes? I think, okay, I think I'd do it for five minutes. In the parking exactly. lot, I got a little more space. I'll go. But I'm afraid if I here. duck, he going to hit me with the uppercut, uppercut. or a hook. Woo! I'm dead. I'm dead. Bare knuckle, I'm dead. I'm dead. Because yeah, I, I, I got to take Kimbo, bro. I'll take Kimbo, too. Like, I, yo, you know, I seen a, there's like a, yo, there's so many like different like combat sports now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you ever see like four and four UFC? Yeah, I did. That shit is fucking stupid. I also seen the (laughs) UFC with a basketball hoop. (laughs) Like, I would, like, they could be doing anything. (laughs) But I love the creativity, but they playing UFC basketball. Like, bro, it was four on four UFC. When you, when you like tap somebody out, knock them out, you go and jump the other niggas. That's like it was like a four on two at one point. It was like three on one. It was so bad, yeah. bro. That's so bad. As soon as you like, that's terrible. I seen one where it was like one big fat dude versus like three women, and it was punching on them. Big fat dude versus three women. Yes, like it was like a UFC fight. I that sound fun, like fun to watch. Like I don't know, bro. That shit was crazy. But what's that noise? Oh, that's my dad. I was like, who the fuck is talking like that? Uh oh, I got <laughs> so. Would you shoot your mother in the leg for a hundred million dollars? No. You wouldn't shoot your mom in the leg for a hundred million dollars. No, I would not. You wouldn't shoot, it? mom. I think I might shoot you in the leg. I ain't gonna lie. I think I'll shoot you. Yo. I think I shoot. I shoot you like that. <laughs> like all honesty, all honesty. We gonna get that leg fixed. That leg gonna be fixed. Yo. Now we up though. So, uh, yeah. So, are you directing what part of the leg you're hitting, or are you far range and you gotta blow at the leg? No, like you walking up to your mom, like, hey, ma. Just like that. <laughs> nah, I can't do it. Why? You can't for a hundred million. Hundred million. Not moms, bro. Not moms. Not moms. How much? Bro. Any? Is there any type of money? Nah, it's no money, bro. A billion dollars. Not Your billion. mom might get mad at you if you don't shoot nah. her. Your mom won't get mad at you. Nah, not for the billion. Unless it's like a a graze. If you, I could graze her. What if you shoot in the calf, like just at the side of the calf? Now that should just go right through, in and out. Uh, that should. Mm. For a hundred million dollars, bro, that's life changing. Talking about they about to boom their mom, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> Look, we gonna get you passed up, fixed, and then I'm gonna give you. We gonna get money. If I could, if it could go, if it could be a a straight through, don't hit no what's the names. Bro, I'll do it. You, all you gotta do is don't aim for the the like the the thighs because I heard there's like a big vein. Like if you shoot, you might fucking die. Yeah, you don't hit no veins, no bones. But Damn, you can't really control that. That's off what I'm of, saying. You just got. You just got popping. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm you, cool. I'm, you I'm cool. Pass. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. I'm, I'm alive and blessed right now without the bread. Without so, the bread. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. I can't. I can't lose my mom like that. You're not. You're not gonna lose your mom. What did she bleed out, girl? From the boom. What you mean? Just put. The, just patch her up, and then bring what it to the hospital. But I'm at. Bro, you sitting there? You looking at your mom, <laughs> yelling in pain <laughs> after you just shot? I can't I do it, bro. I can't do it, bro. What if you? Like, t- what if you? T- what if she knows? You talking about some? Million? Hey, mom. <laughs> nigga, what the hell? What if? What if she knows for a hundred million? She will make you shoot her, bro. Maybe. 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 Because I don't even know if I would want to get shot for a hundred mil. Like, would you want to get shot for a hundred million dollars? If it's like out of nowhere, like say say I'm not expecting it, it's just like, like hey, ah, shot me in my foot. What the fuck you do that shit for, bro? We got we up now. Like, all right, go like, nah, nigga, because what if my shit not operating the same way? Like, nigga, just imagine you get shot. Like, I'm walking, I shoot you, like, they say, I shoot you in the foot. I'm like, ah, why the fuck you do that shit for me? I'm like, wait, wait. You see nigga Steve Harvey coming out the back with hella bread. I'm like, yo, nigga, you just want to... In that moment, nigga, fuck that bread. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna front. Not my f- I can't do it. I don't know. Fuck that money, man. Fuck the money? Fuck that bread. God damn, bro. Fuck the bread, bro. Well, I think I got, I think I got one more question left. Because we run a little late, bro. We got yeah, we if you got see me tip. looking nice, we gotta go. We got Chris graduation to go to. It's a Sunday. Uh, UJ still gotta get changed. It's all black attire. But I got one more question. Would you rather poop out a pineapple or pee out a grape? Poop out of a pineapple? No, poop like you have to push out a pineapple through your butthole. 
Or you have to pee out a grape. <laughs> <laughs> I pee out the grape. Yo, think a grape. Ooh, this grape this big because this is a grape. Your type big, uh, <laughs> um, oh man, yo, the, the whole out of pineapple would pee out of grape. Yeah, yo, <laughs> this is this is crazy. This is a great question. This is a great question. Oh my god, who out of pineapple would pee out of grape? Because I want to answer it. Poop out of pineapple with pee out of grape. Because if you poop out, you got to remember, pineapple's kind of prickly. Yo, nigga, yo, booty hole, whatever you like this. And it's going to be scratching. Because ah. the damage after, I'm going with the with the, with the grape. Because the damage that the pineapple is going to do. But like you don't think you can heal from that? You, yo, yo, your urethra can't open up like that. I don't think your booty hole can either. <laughs> Unless they like prep it. Like, no, I'm talking about you just got you got pushed, but that's gonna fucking hurt, bro. Out your peen, bro. Out your man, nigga. Out your ass. <laughs> oh fuck, bro. I'm going with the because that's like a big ass kidney stone. Like I would like. Nah, I think I'm a pee out. I'm gonna pee it out too, because I remember the one big biggest... if it's in your your man's, you could kind of could like. Nah, that shit gonna fucking hurt, bro. You could you feel me? You could get, get a little. Yeah. Oh my, that's gonna be, that's gonna rip your shit, bro. But Nigga, gonna it's your gonna booty. rip your shit regardless. It's like, oh, so you want? So you rather the, the just the hurry pee, up and the, the pee hole than the, the booty you hole. You cannot do nothing with it unless you try to go in and and yank that and shit. Yank that shit out. Oh, now nah, that would take a, that would take a minute for me to push that shit Nigga, out too. If you try to go in and yank it out from your butt, it's deep. It's deep. First of all, if you yank it the way that a pineapple is, you, you try to yank it from the little tree part. Yeah, you might fuck it up. You <laughs> might rip the tree part off, like. <laughs> God damn, that's that's mighty bad. No, nah, I think I'm gonna pee it out though. But like, I remember like my biggest fear when I was a kid was getting kidney stones because I heard you had to pee that shit out. You know what kidney stone is? Hold on, we got what niggas niggas pressing us? Yeah, right. not pressing us, but they talking about a cocktail bar open. All right, bet we got we got we got end this shit soon. Mm-hmm. Then. But like you know you know what kidney stone is right? Yeah. So like I didn't like you know you had to pee that shit out right? I didn't know that. Like they're like you could either you could get surgery, but like the the more natural ways, like you gotta piss it out. And like them shits be like this big. Yeah, so if niggas is possible to do that, <laughs> I'm not I'm not that shit but I heard that shit hurts a lot. Like I like I remember niggas told me like you get that shit from like like eating like drinking too much soda or some shit. Like sugary shit, sugary salty shit, like it's built up and it's like a little like a stone. So I used to get so scared, bro. <coughs> Fuck man. No, but I think I'm peeing out that shit though. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not pooping, bro. I can't take that. <laughs> First know. of all, that's real. It's gonna feel real moogie. Yeah, bro. But you got anything else you want to say before? Because we got dip, bro. It's, it's uh, going on like eight twenty one. We like twenty minutes late. Nah, I just want to tell all the subscribers, all the lovers. You know, Thank keep you. on doing what y'all doing. We appreciate the love. We appreciate the support. When y'all ring us, you feel me? We always gonna answer. You feel Type me? Shit, bro. We're very humble. We're very blessed. We love y'all niggas for real, like. We appreciate I y'all, bro. You, man. <laughs> we appreciate y'all, bro. No regulars to the moon. We going up day by day. And wait, new stuff coming. Summertime, people. A lot of shit coming. Just stay tuned, bro. Uh, follow the social down in the description. All that shit is all down there. Merch coming soon. New tees coming soon. Hoodies coming in the fall, possibly. We're going to work on that. But yeah, bro. We different than regular. No regular, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.